mystery up in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Recently, the town of Wellspring has lost one of its most beloved members. A man ran the local hardware store that uh, all the uh, all the uh, players are now going to investigate. They're not 100% sure that the story of his untimely death matches what the police say. Now they all find themselves trapped in this, uh, this ancient building with mysteries abound. Already are Jinx, young girl who has kind of uh, developed these powers due to pact with uh, some kind of hive mind uh, moth queen and her colony. Came by, technically broke in, and <laughs> technically broke in and is now just looking around for any evidence as to why. Uh, as to why this uh, this poor unfortunate man died in his own shop, then following in behind her is a young doctor, uh, very also very well known in town, but saw her being suspicious around the front of the store and knows exactly what she does on the internet. That being, she has a show that uh, she has a show that investigates all this weird happenings that happen in her local neighborhood. Followed in right behind her, but the two of them ran afoul of the store's, I guess, honorary protector for the time being. A little foot-tall doll, little uh, cloth-spun doll, that now wants to know why the... Uh, why they are invading this door that belonged to a former owner of his, and perhaps the best owner that this toy has ever had. We left off kind of a kind of a standoff between the three. Some nuts were thrown, <coughs> some concussions were sustained, and we pick up here in Weird Wellspring. I'm going to kick out that whiteboard. Get out of here, whiteboard. Bam, we're here. How is everybody? <laughs> Good. What did the whiteboard do to you? Um, I don't require its purposes right now. Damn. Okay. Works for me. <laughs> Jeez. All right. <laughs> All right, so. Just to clarify, it was screws and nuts, not just nuts. Nuts and bolts. bolts. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I thought nuts. it was funnier to say nuts were being thrown around. Sue me. All right. The doll's nuts. Yep, the doll's nuts. Little beanbag. So you guys get the <laughs> joke, right? <laughs> you get it? Either of you? The honey and the you get, No, that's not the point of the joke. The point of the joke. Never mind. Oh my god. Alright, so what are we going to do about this? This haunted place. What they are referring to is, of course... The stand that the old CRT computer was on, well, was on, it fell off and uh, uh, crushed the, the owner of the store. Uh, the stand has just come loose and fallen in a way that if there were a huge ass CRT uh, computer on top of it, would have crushed whoever was standing behind it. A work of sabotage. Yes. Sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> Game is yours. You guys start doing things. So what are we going to do about this? I mean, you guys... I mean, what exactly did you come here for? Was it this? She uh, came, she I came, came to, to figure out what uh, what really happened to Mr. Oakley. Yeah. And I, I came here to make here. sure that she stopped doing something stupid. I don't do stupid things. You broke into a warehouse. This it's is a hardware, hardware store. store. What are you talking hardware about? Hardware store. That's on me. Yeah. Hardware store. The utter disrespect. This place has been here longer than you have. Probably your whole family. 
Hmm. I'll argue with that later. But no, it might have actually been. It was here when the town was um, first was created. Born. Yeah, when the town was founded. If your family is among the uh, the first settlers here, then probably about the same. Yeah, it's yeah true. Like, uh, all right. Well, give me a second. I go over to the now like this like almost. It's not apart destroyed, stand, it's like, like, like... I'm trying to think of the word. It's like... Collapsed. Collapsed, collapsed almost yeah, it like... kind of collapsed like this so that something could slide off. I'm going to actually use one of my stunts to see maybe I can pick up a different scent. Maybe somebody else was tampering with this thing other than the storm, other than Norman. So, once again, uh, just suggest to me skills first, and then right, if right. a stunner extra comes in, then you can say, oh, and by the way, I also use... Then or I'll if anything like requires like a roll, roll first and then. So in that case, I would what like is it you were trying to accomplish and what are you using to do it with? I'm going to use investigate. But then, with, well, do I roll that now or do I? Well, what what is it you're trying to accomplish? That's the second part. Oh, of sorry. <laughs> trying to find out maybe there was more at play here. See, maybe we like, already figured that out. Yeah, well. Week. Did we? I don't yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure out maybe Unless like did, I'm gonna um, pick up. Because I used my moth antenna to sense like weirdness in the air I around it. I was gonna it. say to Jinx reveal. Yeah. To the party. Okay. Like when I said it was haunted, okay. is when I revealed like what I had found. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess what I'm trying to think like maybe there's something more to this. Like maybe Arthur's like okay maybe you're just all right now that's just silly. Let me take a different approach to this. Okay. Because like, he doesn't I don't think know this how is to a do weird. my own fucking job. Well, he thinks weirdness and like. Okay. You're well, a fucking wolf man. You guys don't know that yet. In, ca- well, in game, okay. you guys don't know that yet. So are you, that's the thing, are you denying this, like, weird energy and stuff? Because, because they, you would know about because it. Because they, they think that you are just a normal person. Yeah. Okay. Like, all right, well, let's try something else. So I'm going to use the investigate and you, yeah. To find um, out maybe there was something more to I'll this I'll actually story. just put this at zero. It's either you get the center or you don't. Right. Good. Good. It's a, mi- it's a minus two. <laughs> Good way to start the night. Is there anything you want to uh, do with that? Or to be fair. Can I not add keen sense to that? Oh, did you not already? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does that do? Give me a plus two to notice or investigation checks, whether smell or sound. Okay, yeah, that's a passive thing. So you can say, I'm adding two because I have this thing. That's what I was trying to get from you before. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So Learning now it's now Learning curve. Zero, now you right? meet it. Now it's zero. It's at zero now. Learning okay. curve, everybody. That's a that's a tie. Anything you want to add on to it? Uh, let's see. You're going to succeed, but there's a minor cost to it. Because that's how a tie works. Mm, we don't have any aspects of my Um, Is it a way I can add an aspect to the room? or? That's a whole different action. Damn. I, th- I tried. You don't have any aspect that could help you? Um, it's also, if you want to hold on to your fate points right now, you can. You can take the minor cost. I'll tell you what it is, and then you can decide... How about this? I'm going to say as you are investigating the uh, the collapsed stand, the the best minor cost really I can give you for this is that more time is being used. Nothing's going wrong as opposed to like what you are doing, but there are um, phone flashlights being um, shown around, and maybe somebody's walking around on the street. Maybe somebody's realized there might be somebody inside. It's not the police. They're not going to be like, open up! But <laughs> someone later down the road might be like, yeah, I saw lights coming on from in there in the middle of the night. Because I think it's like midnight, right? Uh, a little midnight, bit after yeah. midnight, yeah. A little yeah. bit after midnight, okay. So it's up to you if you want to take that cost or if there's anything you want to uh, invoke to to up it to a success. Yeah. I guess we'll just take the tie. I was going to so. say, is there a way I can use my high concept? Local Wall Spring Doctor turned into Wolfman? If you want. Uh, you can justify it to me, but sure. Like, 
could it be like in a way of saying that applying that to this mean like he was he's a doctor but he's like now just figuring out how to be more how like okay maybe I could learn to teach myself to be more in tune to this ability maybe they could this could help me a little bit down the road and in this case try to go a little deeper into this to figure out to get I'm gonna sense. I'm gonna help you out here okay. I'm gonna say that like you got um, like the the sense of people that like linger uh, were lingering in your uh, uh, in your clinic Mm-hmm. We're still kind of there because this kind of happened, and then you closed shop. It took you a little, little bit of time to get it under control. So you kind of, you're in this new like olfactory world where everything smells so much more different. All right, I'll give it to you. Two point. First one in the night. Okay. So this is a success, and with a success, um. There are uh, there are quite like a few scents in here. There were police doing like an active investigation, but nothing. I'm gonna say like nothing that actually lingers on the stand itself, and nothing that smells weird. If that makes any sense. So nothing that's like so weird or off. Like yeah, it's not just a, typical police investigating kind of thing. Right. Nothing else lingered around. Maybe maybe smell like uh, like whatever like uh, powders or chemicals and stuff they used, um, but this uh, stand itself doesn't really have anything with it. They actually seems like it, they left it alone during the investigation. Hmm. Yeah, which is which is odd because that's the thing that came hmm. loose and killed them. It's an inside job. <laughs> well, who, who knows? But um, yeah. Where, where is the chest with the fate points? Here. Let me get that actually. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's got my dice in it. Yes. That would also help me. So I mean, you know, Arthur does his things like. Mm. You who? What are you doing over there, sniffing around? <laughs> I've never seen a human like smell a chip before. Uh, don't worry about it. But um, I'm a little worried about it. You took a blow to the head. <laughs> you might be acting a little bit loony right now. Just a little bit. Yeah, that tends to happen when you get hit with a 75 mile per hour fastball from a doll. Okay, but what's with the smelling? Do you need like a nap or something? Can I can't rest because that's not advised for a concussion. I need to sit down and take it easy. The fuck are you, some kind of doctor? Yes. Really? He yes. is a doctor. Oh. <laughs> doctor. Wow. Dr. Arthur C. Tom. I didn't ask for all of that. Okay. Uh, so what <laughs> by, by the way, we should also resolve that because that's a pretty bad blow to the head. I'm, I'm going to need some kind of role for... Um, Healing. Yeah, essentially. Uh, something to either to medicate or... Uh, what's the word I'm looking Alleviate. for? Alleviate. Mm, Alleviate. Alleviate or even uh, diagnose. That's the word I'm looking for. To diagnose what's wrong with you and what you need to do. It would be a heel check. It would be, and I can't use my extra because I'm not at home. Because that's where it would come in handy. Oh, is that? So His lab or whatever. Yeah. Home clinic. Home office for house calls. Well stocked, plus costly. Minus craft to... Oh, that's the thing. Costly. Um, my... Something about a minus for crap. I'm reading that wrong. I'm sorry. Hang on. Home office for house calls. Crafts plus two. Weirdness plus two. Lore plus two. When using clinic. Oh, so it just gives you those those stats instead of your own when you're in the clinic. Yep. Yeah. So this would be. But well, what this I can, would be the. Uh, but what I can try to do, if allowed, self-operating. Okay. We're which how that works. When using the heal skill to remove a consequence on Arthur, difficulty de- de- difficulty does not increase. Oh, that's good. Because you are doing this to yourself, uh, it is a severe consequence you're trying to uh, treat, uh, you're trying to heal from, as they would call it. Uh, the difficulty is six, and it goes up by two if you're doing it to yourself, uh, as opposed to another person. But because you have that... Uh, skill. It's done. It's just six. 
Good. Yeah, good, good luck. Good. Yeah. At least it's not eight. So what skill are you using? Heal. Alright. How is what does this look like? Well like uh like what like how are you healing this? Get a doctor. Um, you can also use something like say lore or investigate to like diagnose exactly what's wrong with you and then also know what the you know what you should be doing to treat yourself. This is yeah, like concussion's a weird one. It's not like a Yeah, like really the only thing you can do is rest. Yeah, yeah like you're cut open and like bleeding where you gotta stitch something up. This is more this is this is less like you actually doing something to heal and more of you like knowing what you shouldn't do. Well, normally for a concussion, like as Alan, as Jinx said, I'm gonna try to call you guys by your character okay. names, not your real names. That um, that uh, the best thing to do for a concussion is rest. Don't do anything overly taxing I'll, on I'll yourself. I'll just. Yeah. We're going in circles. I'm gonna ask for a lower roll. Okay. Minus one. It's a zero because um, I have a plus one to lore. You're just, Bleh. you're just kind of like too dizzy really to think. This is something that needs to get treated. Messing with your head, you probably have like some kind of some kind of trauma that you gotta you gotta work with. You need to you need to find a way to treat this because this is this is a, this is a bad fucking injury you got. Um, <laughs> what is the what is the uh, consequence called? I think it's con just concussion. It's just concussion. Okay. Um, I'm going to call that... Uh, I actually want to rename it to... Not because you failed it, but because it's <sighs> it's actually just worse, and you think it's a concussion, and it, it turns out that it's something it's something worse, and you, you're just playing it off like a concussion. Uh, so I'm going to call it, like, like, head trauma or something. Uh, Bink, you still have that uh, free invoke on that title. Okay. That's beautiful. Sure. <laughs> All right, so. Back to, back to the game. Sorry to Playing my enemies. Cut I'm, just, there. I'm just, Arthur is just going to look for, like, I mean, if you probably look around the counter, maybe sometimes these things have, like, a chair or something that he can sit down on. Like, oh, yeah, there's definitely, like, a chair. Yeah, he's, so he's just going to sit down for a bit. He's not going to, like, be out of it. He's just going to, like, Try to take it a little easy on himself. Okay. Hey, is it just me or does he not look okay? He did some some good damage to him. Yeah, I mean I just threw a sack at him. So I even throw very hard. Ha. I would hate to see you throw it very hard. Well anyways, uh <laughs> so you think this place is haunted? I've heard stories of this place being haunted. Recent stories, or it's always no, been haunted? No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's from way back, from way back. Okay. Have yeah. I heard anything about, like, because I should know about it being, like, this is my job, right? If there's, like, a skill you want to learn, uh, you want to use here, um, um, but at the same time, I feel like in your line of work, there's, like, a million haunted places in this Yeah. Uh, Millions. I guess lore? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'll put this at um you're you're wondering about handy hardware itself. Specifically, yeah. Okay. I'll put that at um like plus two, yeah. Huh. All zero all blanks. Plus one. It said it'd be plus one. Um, honestly, I don't really see a cost to put here, so I'm just going to say that that fails. Uh -huh. It's more of like, yeah, like, I feel like everywhere I go to has a ghost story about it. Mm -hmm. Like, weird things happen all over Wellspring. Yeah. You don't know anything specifically other than what Fink is telling you. Uh-huh. So, uh, how do you know, like, you believe in all this mystical shit? Because I really never thought much about it. Of course. What do you mean, of There's course? more than just us out there. Are you like those, uh, what the hell are they called? The ghost hunters? 
I love that show. That show is so good. You ever seen it? It's such a good show. It's so good. But are you like one of them? Uh, kind of. I mean, I do more than just punk goes. All right. But you do. Yeah. Punk goes. Right, I mean, so this, this would actually be the first ghost right, that so I'm like, investigating. I guess my question would be, like, where do we start with something like this? I don't know what to do. I can't talk to the ghosts. I thought maybe some, some jerk-off rigged the thing for it to fall on my buddy. Well, it's possible that, that somebody did. Maybe the ghost is angry because of Norman being killed. Oh, maybe. I mean, nothing like this has happened before uh, in the store. Maybe he liked, like, that liked Mr. Oakley, and now they're angry that he was murdered. Because that, that was definitely a sabotage with, like, the weirdness. Okay, I'm, I'm going to investigate for clues as to, like, if a person did this, uh, I'm looking for clues about that person, or if, like, I can't find any, just that ghost did it. Yeah. Uh, the stand itself, you guys didn't realize that... They did, yeah. It was it was put back together. The, like, scr the screw was put into it. Um, but, like, it's stripped... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm not looking for that. I'm okay. looking to see if there's any clues left behind by the culprit. Oh, like fingerprints or something like that type of no, thing? No, well, I couldn't. I don't have the equipment to do fingerprints. Well, yeah, also, but like something like that. And also the police probably do that, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking for, like, uh, like very maybe small something left behind, uh, maybe like a tear on a pair of jeans or something. Uh, like so that. something that happened, too, was um, Jinx tried to get out that side window in the office and, and it tried to eat her and it shut like in her face yeah, yeah. it tried to eat her yeah so you do want to maybe investigate that okay let's do that okay <laughs> just kidding i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that that would be really rough mm -hmm. make it even worse make it i like thing. him now that he's a big fluffy doggo <laughs> remember you don't die if you lose this mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe <laughs> no he definitely doesn't he is taken out no. We decide what taken out means, but he doesn't die. Unless he decides. This he is also die. one of those games where, like, <laughs> you guys are the heroes, which means, like, you get a little bit of, like, Leeway. leniency yeah. in plot wise that you don't, like, die. You got die. plot armor. Yeah, like, you don't die the second, like, you probably should any other way. Yeah, you're good, Lex. You're Sasuke. Fuck Sasuke. No, ew. Not that I like Naruto any better, but... <laughs> he keeps using up all this plot armor. <laughs> Seriously? So something something uh, I found out actually between the sessions that probably could have came in uh, handy last time. You can only check one stress box when you take damage, but you can take as many consequences as you want, and you can also split the harm that's coming to you between one stress box and as many consequences as you want. So somebody taking, say... What are your aspects, Lex? It's not going to help me. That's what they are. Local well, Wellspring, Local Wellspring, Dr. Turn, Wolfman. Nurture over nature. Trust me, I'm a doctor. The family name, Called the Wild. So I, don't I can see a case for Call of the Wild. I was going to say. You're in your wolf form. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that, like, a danger sense And even though it's more, like, help, towards, like, finding, like like stuff in the wild like it could also help with your instincts like a danger sense almost yeah yeah the animals kind of animals have that i was thinking that like will that play out here like that i hope it will but i don't know gm's discretion he's the one that suggested You're, it so yeah i mean i could see the case for it if you yeah. want to make that the case then something. you get to do whatever you can justify lex yeah, yeah. it's it's not even like it doesn't matter what it was originally intended for your it, it's like more like using your instincts to help you out with like your like the either in the wild like the forest finding stuff or using your instincts to save your life <laughs> yeah so and that allow you to uh, let's do that call the wild okay help me like, now I'm in this wolf form. Like, a little danger sense is kicking in. Like, okay, look out. Move out of the way quickly. And I assume you want to re-roll the dice. I would want to. Is yes. it a minus three on the dice? It is a minus three. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to re-roll that. You have a better chance of getting, like, a zero. Than you. Yeah. I need new fucking fudge dice. It's a minus oh two now. Oh, my God. Well, improvement. <laughs> it is improvement. It's minus ten. <laughs> That's a ten We're taking steps. steps. I need new fudge dice or something. No. I mean, you got to catch an eight. You can't get that number. 
Yeah, the only yeah. thing you can do is like lessen the blow. Uh, yeah. Get out of here. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I've like, but it would still be better than ten shifts. Yeah. So, I uh, yeah, like when we talked about like the extreme consequence, that is taken only if you want to stay in the complex. Yeah. It, like if you don't want to take all that, you're actually just taken out. So I think that's what happens here. You're just taken out. <laughs> Did I fall off the roof? I'm guessing. I think so. I think you're off the roof and you are unconscious. Bye, guys. Have fun. Whee. So while this is going on. <laughs> Can I, seeing that, um, can I attempt, I guess, to shoot a you shoot to send out a moth so that I could always know where this entity is using my moth positioning system? Moth positioning I system. I love it. MPS. MPS. So read off how that works. Okay, so when you succeed on a shoot check with your moths, you can declare that the moth attaches to the target and can communicate their location. Okay. Okay, okay. So, the problem is you don't know of a target to... Yeah. Yeah. Actually, like, I mean, I know, at. like, the general area, because he said that it was there. Let's I don't actually, know if it's still there. Let's actually rewind and see what the scene was. Okay. Um, you are... You're on your ass on the roof. You, you didn't slide off, but... Um, I got up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to that. Okay. Bink had actually saved, saved you me. with a uh, with a convenient, like, um... Uh, string around the around the ankle mm -hmm. you got back up you see now wolf boy sniffing around then like he kind of like perks up ear twitches on his pointy human ears yeah. twitch and uh he says you said like over there. There. over there over there he said over there he started walking towards over there and then the shingle started sliding down mm -hmm. the roof from under his uh under his feet and he just He's just off the roof. Yeah. That is that is all that you saw. Yeah. Doesn't mean I can't attempt to shoot okay. at the area that he was pointing at. Sure. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Okay. I need another difficult. Um, you know, put a zero. There's zero targets for you. That if you send this moth out, it will hit the area that he just stepped on, that he was pointing to before. So he, it didn't, like, he pointed, got there, and then it he shifted. He pointed to a spot on the roof, and then he walked to that spot on the roof. And, and it shifted. It, yeah. Okay. Avalanche of shingles. Okay. I'm going to see if it can attach to it. Okay. You know what? I'm Plus four. Roll. I'll actually do an active um, defense against it then. What's it going to do for this? Going to use um, is going to use stealth against it. And that to that. Um, what was your total? Four. Four. It has six. Okay. Would I be able to use a tune to the weirdness? Sure. You know what? I think that I think that'll work for this. Okay. And that would be uh, plus two. Okay. It is going to invoke an aspect of its own and raise it, uh, raise you another tip. Do we get to know what the aspect is? I'll say if you guys saw what it, did. What it was, then yes. Um, otherwise, like it's a, um, it's like a truth and fiction that you guys just did not witness. Can I roll a notice? Or is this like an invisible thing? Uh, right now we are trying to resolve this role. Got it. Okay. Would I be able to use Hive Logic to help me like stay focused on where the target is? Let's actually go to the go to the board. Because I do want to. <clears throat> there are lots of things going on. There are lots of things going on. Can someone pass me an Oreo, please? No. Okay. They're all his. All right, so we have Jinx, and we Thank have you. whatever this is. There. 
That's, that's pretty clear. Jinx got plus four, it got plus six, then she raised it to six and it raised to eight. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should um, put some put some situational aspects on the board. I don't remember if we had any, but probably like cold something night. Dark. Was, yeah, no, that night. was that was uh, wait. Was Warp side story. Was that Warp side? That's Warp yeah. side. I'll do cold October night. Dark October night. Um, I don't know if there was any situational aspect. Can we also add maybe Handy's hardware since there are a lot of resources revolving around it in the scene? I like that. I'm going to add that. Handy hardware. There are also, um, Two aspects that I forgot to mention last game, I only just realized now, that are kind of hanging over the entire campaign, not just individual uh, sessions or scenes or anything. And if you guys remember what those are, um, the first one I think is Cytec. Cytec, yeah. Cytec's new location. And also, weird is EI, right? Yeah. yeah. Why you gotta rub that in? <laughs> the fact that I can because I've weird, been right? I've been writing weird and weirdness and all that, <laughs> and I always get it wrong. So do I. It's a hard word. Weird things happen in Wellspring. Well There we go. Probably could have put those on the board better, but here we are. They look good. Uh, so yeah, could I do Hive Logic as well to help me like stay focused and attuned like on this thing that I can't see really see, but I can sense. Hmm. You know what? I will. I will accept it if you're willing to spend the point on it. Okay. That's one of your aspects, right? Yeah. yeah. It, like, um, it, like, kind of makes the moths a little bit stronger for, to, like, enhance my senses. I guess it's, like, where I was going when I made it. Okay. Um, Does it have something to raise? <laughs> does, but I'm actually going to decide that it's not going to do anything else. Ooh. So right so now meet. you are tying on a shoot roll. Succeed with a cost. And this is, Succeed with were you making an advantage or were you... No, I'm shooting so that I can do moth positioning system so I always know where it is. Yeah, but it, um, that's it kind of like, that's kind of like a side effect. So I'm asking you like what action you're doing. Do you want to cause this thing harm or do you want to create a, uh, like a new aspect for the board? It's either create an advantage or um, an attack action. What would creating an advantage do? Uh, so like I said, it create it... Um, like would it like help me reveal this thing to us so that we can see it? It puts a new aspect on the board and we can decide what that is. And then we can evoke those later to help with ourselves. A, so with a tie, um, that's for that's for an attack. Um, uh, so it, it it makes a boost. It doesn't make an action. It doesn't make um, a lasting aspect, but it makes like a temporary boost okay. with a tie. So would I be able to use the moths to kind of like cover this thing so that we know where it is? 
I guess like you're trying to like kind of stop reveal it from it. like yeah. moving or getting away or more like reveal it to us. Okay. So like we always know where it is. So I will put um a boost for Jinx. BJ. Yeah. Did you just put this in? I did. He did. Oh my god. Um, I like yes. This will be funny. Uh, boost for Jinx is um. I guess I'll just write like reveal. And what you reveal is, um, it's a uh, like a little handheld tool. It's not like a like a form or a figure or something. What what's this thing called? It's kind of it looks kind of like a uh, like a spatula thing. It's got like a flat kind of head to it. I think it's like for like spackle or. I know what you're talking about. I don't know yeah, what it's called. I don't know what it's called but... either. Yeah, it's a spackle tool. Okay, so that's what... <laughs> that's what we're calling it. That's what you found, and, like, along the edge is, like... Teeth? No, like... It's called a putty knife. The... Okay. Uh, uh, is kind of, like, the black stuff that, like, that, like, glues shingles, the, like, the tar that glues shingles to a roof. The thing that was... That was scraping it. Yeah. And this is going to reveal an aspect for the thing that's doing with all this, because I think it should... Not the one that it's been using, but... Oh, the fucking... Write, write this down, because how... Well, or, you know, watch the stream after. But how you win, like, boss fights and stuff is, like, knowing the aspects that, like, other things have. Mm -hmm. So... What is the aspect I want to reveal here? Right tool for the chat. Yeah. So this thing that's been messing with you has the aspect right tool for the job. And you found this tool. Hmm. Or I found one of them. Yeah, so. Okay. So seeing that there is something actually here and that it is not, in fact, like a humanoid physical, at least not a physical humanoid being, yeah. um, I would like to attempt to talk to it. I would like to calm it down. I don't know what pissed it off because it's not like it has always been killing its own. It hasn't always been killing its own. It always, it, yeah. So Normally this is very not new. <laughs> yeah. So this is very new and I want to like see if I can figure out what pissed it this thing off. Oh, I see those lights you're talking about. It's over the T and uh, yeah. right tool. Oh, well. Hopefully there's enough audio of us saying right tool for the job. I'm sure there is. Plenty of times. So, I guess... What would it be to attempt to... Rapport, I guess? I would like to use rapport yeah, to probably, talk honestly. to this thing. Um, okay. I'm more, I'm more just trying to figure out like what is like being, what is being said. Um, because you're not, you're still not sure what's going on, but you have a yeah. tool in which it's been messing with you guys. Yeah. But like, um, I, excuse me, uh, Mr. Ghost or, or Mrs. Ghost, you could be a, a girl, uh, but, um, I don't know what made you so angry, but is there anything I could do to help calm you down, make maybe appease you, so that you don't keep killing people? Uh, I would really like to help you out. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Are you talking to the spatula? I'm talking to what's controlling it. Oh. Or at least I'm trying to. I don't want to die. I don't think we're gonna die. I don't know. Arthur, Speaking goes, Arthur, Arthur say, you know, <laughs> Arthur we just ignore, got thrown are off are the roof. Are we, are, we, are we ignoring the fact that your that Arthur has been flung off the roof? Absolutely, she found a magical putty knife. It's <laughs> <laughs> more important than the unconscious man. Wolfman. We gotta quote that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, we just met. I'll come down in a second and help you. <laughs> After we don't I'm, die at, at the hands I'm of the dying. putty knife, we're trying to figure this shit out up here. <laughs> 
this thing could have killed Mr. Oakley. We gotta figure this out. If you die, then we'll figure out your death, too. <laughs> My auto avenge is a good thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I guess we're poor. That's what I'm attempting to do with my awkward attempt to appease this thing. Sure. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to like roll anything against that. I, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna put it. It's gonna be a very high. I uh, figured. I'm not very good at rapport either. Yeah. I mean, I I'm fair at rapport, but it's not my highest skill. I'm I'm gonna say this. Like, these words are definitely not calming whatever this thing is oh definitely down. not <laughs> i've never hunted ghosts before i don't right. know how to talk to them yet but maybe <laughs> you told me earlier that you do no i didn't i asked if you said you want i, I you said i ghosts, do you said i don't only hunt ghosts which insinuates to me that you hunt ghosts and do other things <laughs> uh Kind of. I'm trying to like see like what like a success on this looks like. I don't I think know. Think the success I need to on know. this looks like um like it doesn't try anything else to kill you. <laughs> yeah. I still need to know what the difficulty is. You haven't. I'm gonna yet. put it at a five. Okay, let's see. I need a three yeah. on the three pluses. Oh, do you have a plus two already? Uh, yeah. Oh shit! What do you mean you're not good at it? That's fucking That's third best skill. Yeah. That's really high. That one. <laughs> that's not how this works. Two minuses. But that's a plus two. Um, You're at two? Right? I'm at two. Okay. At, the two minuses, two pluses. Oh, yeah. They zeroed out. Uh, God. Oh, my God. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble. <laughs> I'm having trouble. It's controlling my dice. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, while she's doing this, I'm going to use the cover of the Dark October Night to sneak my way over to the, the, the putty, knife. putty knife. Oh, okay. Are you holding it or just the monster on it? The monster on it. Okay. And they're going to stay on there so I could keep track of the, the putty knife, I guess, even though it's not actually the thing that's. We'll say, like, the moths disperse because you were expecting a bigger target. Yeah. And one moth will stay on the putty knife. Yeah. Okay. Um, so right now we're sitting at a, uh, a two. On a the two. Um, I don't think I have anything. It's a really weird thing to have a thing for. It is a really <laughs> weird thing to have a thing for. <sighs> I don't think I can do anything else. All right, so you are going to either fail or succeed at a serious cost. I think I'd rather fail. Yeah, I think so yeah, too. Serious costs are pretty bad this early. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, so My what very this, awkward attempt. <laughs> so what happens next? Um, well, let's not ignore Bink. Bink is uh, trying to make his way over to the bunny knife. I'm not um, just gonna try. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> This thing's got to be bad at something. I'm hoping it's notice. <laughs> so. It's li literally the building. It you probably feels yeah, so you it's gonna, it. <laughs> it's going to roll against you, but I'm going to give you um, plus two, which is like this game's version of advantage. Okay. Uh, because it is currently focused on Jinx. Word. All right. Uh, plus two. Plus three. I rolled a zero. Sure. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's just going to take that. Good, So I had two things I could invoke. <laughs> uh, so you get you get to the putty knife. Jump on it! Okay, <laughs> you jump on it. It is yours. All right, my putty knife. It also has a moth on it. That's fine. <laughs> it's going in me. Let's... <laughs> Let's actually talk about what the moths look like, because I don't think we did that on stream yet. No, we didn't. So, um, my idea for them was like they—they look like lunar moths, but they're like more like monstrous looking. Um, so they got like the like sharp teeth, um, which is what makes me think that they're alien rather than Do they like, have, like the like the mandibles like. I think it was like my idea was like kind of mixing like a um, 
a moth, the lunar moth, because I just think they're really pretty looking, mm -hmm. with like, honestly, with like a, a bee or a wasp. Oh, yeah, does kind of like a big stinger on the back of it? Like, I'll, I don't know if they have... You know, I'll do the like, yeah, the like the the teeth or mandibles or whatever, and like the stinger, so it has like a form of attack, um, that which is why I thought that they were more alien than weirdness. But yeah. I'm finding out the weirdness still... can do a lot of changes to like anything, including turning a human into a wolf. Apparently, they they do <laughs> still mostly resemble a moth. Like anyone who yes. sees them. At first glance, things we'll just think they're a moth. Yeah. Um, it's only upon further inspection, and the reason that I'm asking now is because uh, Bink is face to face with one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they have uh, like mandibles on them as well as a stinger. But yeah. Very weird looking things. They are weird looking, but I seen her throwing at it. You saw like a whole yeah. swarm go after yeah, it, yeah, and then yeah. it was one, a lot smaller. One stayed behind you. Yeah. Now he's inside me. Okay. And I probably like lose connection with it because it's oh, like, it's in stasis. It's in stasis. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost my moth. <laughs> you killed my moth. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird. Like maybe the queen's like, this is a normal. <laughs> no. <laughs> I lost connection to one of my moths. It didn't die. I know what it's like when they die. <laughs> but yeah, so. I lost it. <clears throat> but yeah, so so um, what happens to me? <laughs> uh, so you have the putty knife uh, and the moth, and the um, you don't see anything happen. Nothing happens with the putty knife, but you hear a car alarm happen, like really, really close by. A car that is parked on the street, like not too far away from your position, is now beep 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 beep. Time to go. You're like dead. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but you don't know. have to say anything right now. I'm We're saying, coming. Don't worry. I'm going to. Is your needle still like in? It's back in my head. It's back in your head. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be like, okay, we need to go. I'm gonna grab bank, and I'm going to like slide down the. We said there's a gutter, right? We established there's a gutter. Yeah. I. You. If you're trying to get down on purpose, you can get down safely. Yeah. I'm gonna like slide it's down the gutter. It's when you're. It's when you're knocked off a roof by something. Yeah. It's when you're not getting off safely. Okay. I'm gonna slide down the gutter. Place bank on the ground. I'm gonna go to the door and take out the bobby pin that broke in it. Do I need to do like anything for that? Uh. Hmm. That was a. Uh, that was a punishment for getting in the place. Yeah, and the only way to so, so you fix know it, I need it actively. I'll say like you you do it, but it will take time that you don't have. So it's up to you if you want to do it or not, because mm -hmm. it is it is wedged in there. Yeah, there's like a tiny little bit that you have to like kind of pinch out. That mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, I realized that after I said it. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to take time that you don't have. So okay. it's up to you if you want to split or if you. Uh. I'm gonna split. I I have this huge ass man just passed out. Bink, I put him on like my head. Stay there, and I attempt to like like put him around my shoulder. I'm sure. not strong though, so like. You're not strong, but also like you're not like huge. He's not right? huge, but he's bigger <laughs> than me. I think. I think let's let's actually figure this out. Um, are you like? And does he do you gain muscle in wolf form? Because that would add weight to you. Also, does he maintain wolf form if he goes unconscious? That's another good question. Yeah. yeah. When you're unconscious, what happens? Do you do you stay in the form that you're in, or do you go back to human form? I would say unconsciousness. He's out of the wolf form. Okay. okay. So, back, so back, back to, to himself. Back so to you're your form. usual nerdy self. Uh, I'm at, but still bigger than too. me, though. That's the thing, too. Like... The wolf doesn't give you like super strength or nothing. Like, are you like muscular more as the wolf, or I think you're just kind of the same but with hair. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I so. don't. Add, it doesn't add any super strength or anything. That's just <laughs> the power like, seems to be like a better connection with like your wild self. Your animal self. Of, yeah. It's yeah. like the Victorian werewolf. Like, oh God, we can't be animals. You know, like, the, like that's the worst. Like <laughs> the strength that comes if you are. You yourself are physically strong. The wolf oh. doesn't give you superhuman strength or the un, un, what's that supernatural power. 
-hmm. All of these uh, urges that so good Christian do folk weigh? have now come out because you're not a good Christian folk anymore. Like that, that whole like uh, like Victorian like sensibility bullshit. <laughs> oh my God! You showed your angle. Ugh, what a whore! Be, I think it would be cool <laughs> if different animal features were enhanced more on specifically different werewolves. Like everybody was different. Like maybe some dude gets super strength. Yeah. I think that'd be neat. But anyway, yeah. I think yeah. How much do you weigh? You know, I didn't think about that. But he's well, not, that's something I need to know not, now. Well, he's not. He's not fat. He's not. Brawly either. He's kind of like the average person. Okay. Yeah, so pretty, he's pretty healthy weight. Yeah, he's got so a healthy like for waist. For how tall are you? He's like five nine, five ten. Okay, so probably about one hundred and seventy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's about one hundred seventy pounds. Okay. I, I say like you can you can get him out. Okay. It, and it's, I, it's is slow his, going, but you is can. his clinic nearby? It is right. Probably. Because okay. you guys are more towards the center of town. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty close. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna. I, I could run out here to this place. Then yeah. Okay. That's right. He didn't bring a car. Yeah. yeah I literally okay. So I'm gonna car. go to his clinic. Okay. And I guess I'm gonna not be very stealthy, but attempt to stealth. I'm. I'm actually gonna say like you. You get him to the clinic. Uh, it takes time. Easy enough. Like as you're like going back, there's like people talking in the street because mm -hmm. the car is not shutting off when the person hits the key. Something's tripped the. Um, yeah. This thing is more than the building. Is what I'm finding out. Or the spatula. Or the, well, I knew it was more than the spatula. Yeah. It's definitely not the building. <laughs> no. And this thing can travel. It's That's, like a ghost or a monster or something. Yeah, well, I mean, in my mind, ghosts typically are in an area. This thing is more than I, that. I forgot to uh, confirm, actually. Did you get the bobby pin out of the lock? No, I okay, left it. You left it, okay. So, uh, doors open with the bobby pin in it. Uh, I think I, we closed it, but the bobby pin's still yeah. in there, so it won't lock. Yeah. Um, what was that? So what kind of monsters can go invisible? A uh, lore check? Uh, so <laughs> first we're going to uh, like just get to the get to the clinic. To the I'm clinic. actually going to call a break here. Okay. Right. You'll probably notice that the doors are locked. Yeah, but you have keys in your pocket. I was, say, I, was say you, yeah. I was about to say, you know I have a key to the place, so it's going to be in my pocket. I would hope so. It's, it's your place. It's also your house. Yes. And also, I'm going to go through his pockets for whatever else he's got in there. <laughs> you don't find anything special. Just the we'll, key to the, we'll get to We'll that. take the break, and then you can think about it and be honest with me about what you mm -hmm. have on you. <laughs> write it down on a piece of paper or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want you to write right. your pockets. Uh, okay, we'll see you guys in like mm -hmm. uh, 10 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Bye. Ciao. There we go, we're back. Are we? Are you sure? We are. So, what we're looking at is um, let's see if there's anything on the board I have to get rid of. Better keep my spatula up. These, uh, these stay. Right tool for the job, you guys hopefully write that down. This is gone. Mm hmm. Handy and hardware. Handy hardware, too. Word. Excuse me. I'll keep dark uh, October night, even though you guys are probably headed inside now. I might like go back outside. Never know. All right. So, the scene that we are looking at. You guys escaped from Handy Hardware, leaving uh, quite a bit of evidence behind that you guys were there. The car alarm tripped up by whatever this entity, entity is uh, attracted a lot of uh, a lot of people outside, and um, you guys had to flee with an unconscious uh, Arthur over your shoulder. You get to his clinic. Well, the reason I wanted to be stealthy about it is because people are out. Um, I, I'm going to say because you didn't get the bobby pin out, you were able to leave before too many people were. Okay. Out. So you, you made your escape. You guys are fine. Okay. So not so much that, like, you know, you would have been, like, stopped on your way out, but people would have seen you leaving the scene. Um, oh, that's what I didn't want. I don't want to be seen. Yeah, but that didn't happen because you, you got out before too many people gathered. Okay. Yeah, so um, you guys are... Scott free something happened to handy hardware last night but nobody, no, knows, nobody knows exactly what so you guys make it to the clinic Arthur is in very bad shape 
and uh, what do you guys do from here? I want to know what I found in his pockets. What does Arthur not leave home without? Well, obviously you find the set of keys. <clears throat> All right. You find his wallet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I'm not going to find much in there anyway. You don't carry no. cash on you? Mm-hmm. It's me writing in That's the, him the writing. desk. Oh, I, okay. I mean, obviously he's got the usual stuff. He's got a business card in there. License. A license, his ID card for the clinic. Um... Debit and credit card, a family photo, like one of those little pocket-sized ones that you carry. Yeah, who's in there? His mom, his dad, a younger-looking gentleman, possibly his his brother, and the younger lady, his sister. Okay. Little family photo in there, and about four hundred dollars. Four hundred in your wallet. That's a lot of money. All right. You said it, not me. Yeah. All right. Uh, you can now find the spatula outside the front door of his home clinic, as there is now three hundred dollars inside of me, uh, <laughs> and oh, shit, so and an me. ID card for his clinic. Also, uh, you probably have your phone on you, right? Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I got I that too. I got, you are you were using the uh, flashlight. Yeah, I do have. My phone. I also have my phone. I should probably just said that I have my phone. All right. That's it. That's always. That's always gone. That's what I got. <laughs> oh, you took his phone too? I'm like, I'm trying to play with it, but because my hands are like burlap, yeah, they it's don't. not working on the touch screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to sew some of that material that allows touch screens to sense your fingers. I wonder how that works. Anyway. Do you have fingers? Like stylus, or do you have like. Material. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just cut them off Do you have gloves fingers or is it a stub? I think it's a stub. You just. I thought it was a stub. <laughs> I will undo the. Well, I'll also actually undo the uh, whiteboard because we don't need that right now. <laughs> and let's look. Let's look at art of bank. I they think. are stubs. They are stubs. They are stubs. Well, I have to sew fingers on too. I don't know how that works with the magic. It'll probably start working. No, you just. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with the stubs. <laughs> we don't need to actually put fingers on. Just put the material that's on the glove. It's like, a stub. Tuck. Yeah, well, we can cut out. Meaning it's too big to actually be used to touch anything. I wouldn't know how to use this goddamn thing anyway. All right. Uh, (laughs) I'm just saying, cut the material off a glove and give it to him. We can get him inside. Oh, I think we're already inside, right? Are we inside? Uh, You you hand over the keys. Well, I didn't. Jinx uses the keys. You guys get inside. I give Jinx the spatula. Okay. And I would like to actually run his pockets without being noticed by Jinx, if I could. Okay. Uh, you're going through his pockets without Jinx knowing. I'm He's trying. attempting to. Well, she's carrying you hand, him. Yeah, you hand, her, you hand her the keys. Um, she undoes the key. I'll, I'll say, like, stealth against notice. Notice? That sounds okay. like the, the most like, straightforward way to do this. Plus three. Plus one. Ah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It must have fell out. When he when he hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, because that's his idea. <laughs> Arthur broke in. <laughs> Andy Hardware. <laughs> yeah, it's a frame job. <laughs> All right, so you guys have uh, entered um, Arthur's home. Yes. Um, I will. Front put... door, side door. I guess I don't know. Front door. Front door. Front door yeah. Side door doesn't have a key. Oh, does it not? No. Okay. It's like so one, of those, it's one of those uh, sliding doors. I think. Okay, my but it's locked in. Oh, it's a sliding door with a little lat. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's locked with a stick on it. How big is this place? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say it. I'm picturing like a long building because half of it is allocated to clinic and mm-hmm. half of it is... Health. My home, yeah. Like, two, two stories, maybe? It's about two Yeah. Bottom floor is the clinic. Upstairs is where I live. Hmm. Okay. So it's like, it's comfortable enough for a person to live. Yeah, so you guys are in the clinic as you enter. Mm-hmm. I will be on guard for any pets. <laughs> Animals don't get along with me. Hmm. Any pets? My hand is on the needle. Don't roll nothing. To, oh. I'm not rolling anything. If you want a dog dead, you have a pet. <laughs> I'm just letting <laughs> you know. Thinking. If you would like your pet to perish, claim that you have one. He has a pet. All right. What is it? 
He has a bird. bird. <laughs> he has, you notice that off into the corner, you of see the clinic? that. No, inside the. In, we're in the. Are we in the house? Where are we? We're in the clinic right now. You said well, the clinic's well, the first we'll floor. Well, we'll establish this for the future. What pet does Arthur have? He has two pets. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He, he has a cat. And. Have a that cat. That cat probably hates you. Have a cat. He has a cat. Well, he has a cat. And a. Uh, and he does have a dog. A cat and a dog? Oh. Both are apparently going to die. <laughs> I, what, um, what a combination, I know, right? I Well, no, because people have cats and dogs, and the cats and dogs get along quite well when they are uh, when they grow up by each other. But, like, what kind of dog, what kind of cat? Um, You're the, making him think of breeds the now? Cat? No, 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 I'm thinking, no, no, like, no, if there's no, a no, fucking no. German Shepherd, y'all might be fucked. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like my gypsy. The cat is... Okay, what is it called? Calico is like the most common. Well, yeah, like but always describe, female. Describe the coloring. I'll probably yeah. help out with that. It's the cat that I kept showing once in a while. It looked like a little werewolf-like cat. Oh, like a the Lacoy. main coon. Oh. Hmm? The the Lacoy with like the weird like white face and the like the. Is it the large one? It's called it's called the like I think like people call it like the werewolf cat. Uh, L y k o i cat. Wait. Yeah, it looks like a oh, werewolf. That is haunting. That, that is, is super dead. Creepy. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna kill the, the shit out of you. The fuck you want that thing for, Alex? Is that is I that find the kind of cat you know? I find it adorable. The thing is the creepiest fucking thing. I like I looking find, in those eyes. I, I think it's it like haunting right, me. What kind of dog? Because fifty percent of this game is Lex trying to declare story details. I, the um, dog that he has is a Rottweiler. Oh my god! He oh chose one of the more vicious. <laughs> Not necessarily. I've known, I love Rottweilers. I've known some Rottweilers to be like the biggest pansies. Oh yeah, the ones that everybody think are vicious are actually like the biggest softies. Oh yeah, Doberman, but very, German Shepherds. But the things with Rottweilers, they're they're just very protective of their owners, their caregivers. They get the bad rep because they've been made into fighting dogs. Cool. Yes. That's the bad. So rep. they're very protective of their owner who were carrying in unconscious. Uh-huh. Sweet. Uh, but yes. I, that's the Rottweiler. The cat just, is just uh, one them. more, one more uh, deviation from the path. I've seen someone play a Lacoy um, uh, Tabaxi. No, it's nice. Dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm killing you. I'm killing no, you. don't kill my boy. This cat's fucking dead. Don't kill my boy. All right, so you guys don't are. Kill him. That's my cat. You guys are in the clinic, and I guess we'll say. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. So here's the thing, right? This is where I'm. Well, they're torn. probably used to people. You have a clinic, no, no. right? No, so, no. Here's where here's where I'm torn as a GM. If this like cat and dog like have any like kind of like benefit to the game like mechanically, we're going to have to take a fate point for that for declaring a story detail. But if they're just kind of there. in the background, like just something to, like flesh out the character or whatever, then then no. So it's I guess it's a question for. Uh, Do you want them to be guard animals? You Arthur, are these animals that you can like? call upon maybe like you know like mechanically definitely not the cat he's just that thing's so cat. haunting you could call Dude, on it and scare mean? people away this lacoy or whatever is definitely something created from the fucking weirdness in real life <laughs> <laughs> like that's not fucking normal also, it doesn't look normal it looks like a fucking supernatural thing it's adorable <laughs> it's creepy wow. it's an abomination <laughs> It's adorable. I, I find the Sphinx cat more adorable than that thing. This okay, cat was made by Show Tucker. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Let's let's get the but the thing is let's get the record clear just for the stream. Like half the table is against Lacoy, the other half are for. Look, it's, just, it's I, creepy. Telling, Look it up and agree I'm with us. I'm telling you right now, if I wasn't so worried about my allergies to cats, I would want a Lacoy because that looks adorable to me. I think they're adorable. Uh, but yeah, so like. Like I'd rather a Sphinx. <laughs> Those are ugly. I and love Sphinxes. Is Fuck is you. The, is the Rottweiler, I guess we can call it like it's an ally Nikki. you can call in later on in the game? Or like a force that like protects the house or like in case like something's like going after the house, like or is it like just a like companion? Yeah, is it just like something that's there, something will be like, Oh yeah, you're home. You see your Rottweiler there. Well he's not well, he is. Well, the way I want to put it is that the Rottweiler is my companion, but he also like 
watches over the clinic because you know people will probably break in and try to steal so, the drug, try to steal the medicine. So I'm going to. I have uh, it. I'm going to require a pay point for me. Oh, okay. that's my last one. Okay. Hopefully, you don't need it. Ooh, you are cursed now. <laughs> you like a With how shit this out of session you. is going, like he really is yeah. cursed. Just so you guys know, Lacoys, I looked it up. They are actually fucking mutant cats. Mm. Really? That's it even, is a mutation. Yes. That's yeah. even better. <laughs> of what type of cat? <clears throat> uh, domestic short hairs. Mm. Um, and only in the last twenty years, they're fucking mutants. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> they're not normal. <laughs> There's, like, very few domestic animals that are normal, sadly. Um, we love them all. Except, except, except the Lacoy. <laughs> except the Lacoy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nothing's not normal here. Okay. But, yeah, no, so uh, you, you guys you guys get into the clinic, um, and you just hear, like, loud barking from well, the, the house there. section. Which is upstairs. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put... Um, Arthur on one of the cots, beds, whatever he has for the patients to like lay down on. Okay. And um He probably shouldn't be unconscious. No, he probably shouldn't. I don't know how to wake him up though, I'm not a doctor. I guess um can I roll for heal or lore what like what would I need to roll to try and figure out what the fuck's wrong with him? <laughs> Um, I think really you're just trying to get him up because he suffered a head wound and probably shouldn't be unconscious. I'm getting some ice cold water. <clears throat> and I'm just going to splash it in his face. Oh, no, he's not He's not a dentist with like one of the sinks with the little... No. Yeah, but there's got to be a sink somewhere. Yeah, there's definitely I got a sink. Like yeah. one, he's probably got like one of those things we have hands. over there, like the yeah. giant water jug. Yeah, I'm going to his hand yeah. washing station and I'm going to get some ice cold water. Sure. And I'm going to splash it right on his... Right, on, right in his right in his face. Right in your face. All right, he's For up. daring to have a LaCoy. Well, I don't know that yet. Yeah. My character doesn't know that yet. But what? you also hear That's from upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's on! It's hunting season! Wow. No, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm around, it so. sounds like hell come to earth. I just oh. saw it get fucked up. <laughs> All right, yeah, so... Um, Arthur, you're awake. <laughs> and, like, the disorientation is palpable. Oh. Because I'm so small, I would have needed to get up, like, on his chest to do this. Yes. So he just wakes up, and I'm right above him on his chest. Mm -hmm. With an empty pitcher. <laughs> I don't know, do you, like, do you, like, get up quickly know. and fucking launch bank? I was going to say, he just jumps up, like, oh, my God, that's yeah. cold. Yep. All right. Like, you're on the floor now. <laughs> ah, sweet. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, Plastic what? pitcher doesn't break. What? Why? What? Where in my Where in my clinic? How do we get here? What? Did I fall? Oh my! Out of my head. Where? You are so lucky tonight. Oh god. Where's? Or is it unlucky? I don't know, but you don't look like you're doing too great. No, you should probably stay awake. No I'm kidding. Oh god. Stop falling unconscious. <sighs> Next time over. you do, I'll slap you awake. You watch his arm goes over. Go around the clinic. He goes like behind the counter. I don't think you should be walking. I don't know. If he you do. <laughs> it, it's not. It's not easy for you to do, but you do. Yeah. You know how they say treat yourself. <laughs> well, he's the doctor. He needs to treat himself. I don't think he should be treating himself. No, well, he's got. No, I am a doctor. I should be able to help myself. That's not how that works. <laughs> well, I ain't a doctor. I can't help him. Neither can you. No. What, what other options are there? Uh, good question. Also, does that mean we're spending the night here? It's like one thirty in the morning. I guess. I so. just need to lay back on my on a cot or something. So he actually goes over to like one of the chairs and he just sits down. And then you guys hear from like the stairwell come down. And through a little little door, little door, my little cat comes through. Oh my god, what is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it like a friendly cat or is it like... Oh yeah, she's friendly. She's down here all the time. The patients love her. Oh, that's my cat. That's sanitary. That's... <laughs> oh, that's my cat. Yeah, that's, that's very unsanitary. Um, Doctor. But yeah. you, uh, Only the kids, though. Yeah. They need comforting. Well, so I don't like, know how that thing comforts people. I guess but. we'll we'll say like you guys hear like the 
and then like later on there is a uh, there's a Lacoy like rubbing up against. Yep, I'm gonna roll shoot. <laughs> that's my oh that oh yeah that's my cat that's Luna. Hey sweetie, I'm home. You said you're rolling shoot. You're really gonna hurt my cat? Yeah, absolutely. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? What does she do to you? This thing is alarming. <laughs> This is connected to the weirdness. It's not. I've it's seen a lot of cats in my life. This thing is definitely connected to the weirdness. It followed us here. Bink hates cats, everybody. Bink hates all animals. He, he, he. I don't get along with animals. They fucking put me in their jaws and they, uh, you know, drag me around and shit. To be fair, if there was a lion that was 20 feet tall, humans would have a problem with it, too. That's yeah. true. But Facts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Tiny but then, uh, then again, like a cat is like a foot and a half. Um, <laughs> he's a foot. Like so, twenty foot's not like a. I'm essentially I'm face to face with a lion. It's like a human and a lion. Yeah, yeah basically. Oh, a, a human sized lion. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. What am I? You're gonna hurt my cat. Classifying this cat. Uh, it, it needs me. stats, and I can get stats very easily. But I'm gonna kill this monster. Don't you hurt my kitty. <laughs> it's fucking dead already. He just doesn't know it yet. Come on, cat, eh? Come on, cat. You ain't getting no doctor. I don't need a doctor. Well, then she ain't getting no doctor. I don't even breathe. I just met her. I don't know. What the fuck do I care? I don't know. Don't, don't, I see don't, how it is. I'm not even doing anything to this cat. You should have left your ass in that alley when the cops came. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, th- I think I found a good. Not that I'm not ungrateful about it, but don't hurt my cat. This is not a cat. <laughs> I've seen cats. It's a hellborn. A, this is a hellhound. This cat was a kitten. I it got her when she was a kitten. I got her when she was a kitten. There you go. It was a gift. This is my, gra- my natural enemy, my arch nemesis. <laughs> it was a gift from my grandma. Luna. Right. Thanks, it's arch this nemesis. Is, this is Scanlan and Trinket right here. Oh God. <laughs> Did Scanlan ever try to kill Trinket? I don't know, but he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Did I put the pen away? No, they said it wasn't working. No, that was a different one. That one's still in front of me, oddly enough. <laughs> you put the wrong one away. All right, so um, they have a high concept and a trouble. The high concept is I'm a cat. A cat <laughs> that lives in the clinic in Arthur's house and gets its hair all over the clinic. Um, uh, they have a concept of a trouble. Its trouble aspect is, oh wait, that's high concept. And uh, its trouble aspect is people think I'm ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get so much I'm gonna, of this from the people watching. I'm going to write ugly. most people think I, <laughs> I'm going to amend that. Most people think I'm ugly. Uh, hmm. If a hitter is particularly important, give her a third aspect. I'll hold on to that for now. Uh, Set the hitter's apex skill to one step above the PC's highest rated skill. So you guys have uh, plus fours right now? Yeah. A cat has a plus five skill. It has a plus five. Uh, Good luck. Two more skills, one step below the eight. I can't believe this is happening right now. <laughs> you this wouldn't is, have this decided is, this. This is because the um, the fate point was spent. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother writing stats for it. Don't kill the kitty. Okay, so it actually does get the actual skill. So, like, nothing enemies, right, will get, like, raptor will get, like, claws skill. Mm-hmm. Even though it's not an actual <coughs> skill or, like... Uh, one game that I followed, there was a train that had the train skill because it was a train. Okay, so um, two more. Okay, so then I will have two plus fours. All right, so let's see what I'm gonna leave this out to the table because this is a uh, this is a um, game for all of us, not just me. What is its plus five skill? What is the cat amazing at? Probably athletics. athletics. Probably athletics. I said cat with that with incredible athletics. Has Very dexterous animals. 
If a cat is not very dark, if the cat has no athletics, then it's not a cat. Yeah. Unless it's old and fat. Yeah, I will give it. My Onyx could not do jack shit. He was so fat. Mm. What's the name of this guy again? Luna. 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 The name is Luna. Um. We're pretty good. Now it needs two plus four skills. I'm guessing <coughs> stealth. Yeah, stealth probably would be one. Notice might be another one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I kind of like fight. <laughs> I like fight for a cat too. You know what? Uh, so it's gonna be stealth. And uh, notice. Um, it can also get three plus three if I want to define it further, and I'm gonna put one of those plus three as fight, okay. just in case. Well, what do you mean, just in case? <laughs> this should be going down, man. Um, That's what she looks like. Haunting. Adorable. Uh, Mutated. Disgust. That was disgusting. And but still. I agree. Luna is disgusting. <laughs> oh, no, my precious baby. Right. Uh, stun. So hitter always has at the very least a stun that off confers weapon two on her primary attack. Uh, if you want to make her particularly She's dangerous, give her a stun that makes her harder to spot too. Hmm. There's some. Guess who's getting a fur coat? <laughs> oh, man. My cat. I know, this thing's stronger than you, apparently. Uh, probably, yeah. It's probably I think that's bad. Wait till you see my Rottweiler. I'm going to. It, it can get a stun, but I'm going to actually hold off on that as well. All right, so cat is cat is me. Cat is cat. Mm -hmm. So the the cat <laughs> comes in and is rubbing up against uh, Jinx's leg. Meow. Shoot. Meow. Okay, athletics. Meow. My kitty. Ooh. That is a plus six. Woo. <sighs> plus five. Ha. <laughs> Do you have anything? No. Do you want to use anything? I'm going to invoke. Oh, right. What uh, stress and consequences I forgot to do also. Um, give her a mild consequence for that. Uh, see, here's has a bare minimum stress. So, it has, so she has a one and a two stress box. And ah. um, also a... Any? Mild consequence slot. So, mild consequence. There we go. Um, what are you doing? I'm invoking one doll wrecking crew. Oh, God. No. Wrecking crew. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, jeez, we're killing It's only one damage. Well, no. Yeah. Less than he did to you. My cat. We had the, uh, the thing on the board called Handy Hardware. So we can actually, <coughs> oh, where's that marker of mine? I'm losing fucking everything tonight. Yes. Yeah, I'll get it later. Oh, wait, I put it back. Wow. Uh, so we will actually put on here. Um, Arthur's Clinic. Does your extra have an aspect attached to it? Because that might just exist anyway. Um, extra just says home clinic and it defines what it does. Yeah, does it say anything about adding an aspect? Um, no. Okay. Home office for house calls, well stock, and costly the crafting. Well, oh, isn't well stock an aspect? Technically, yeah. It probably would be. If it says specifically it makes the aspect this, otherwise it's flavor text that says it's well stocked and then. Mm. Yeah. This is my home and my work of it, my home of business. There's some homes in this house. There's some homes in this house. Because we did it for we did it for handy hardware. Um, yeah. so I'll also do it for the fact that you guys are in a clinic with stuff in it. But the cat is going to uh, spend a fate point invoking uh, Arthur's clinic home. Because it knows the inside and knows the like the best so it's route for higher. getting the hell out of Dodge. Okay. 
or are you stopping? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Right, I'm good. So. You said it's getting out of the room? Um, so what it is, let's see, on an attack, uh, on a fail, nothing, on a success, on a defend, yeah, successfully blocked it, so nothing happens. Okay. Um, what is it, you like chuck the needle at it? Yeah. Uh, just jumps out of the way, and then on its turn, it's going to concede. It's going to get the fuck out of there. Good. Then I'm good. <laughs> and if it's going away, I'm good. <laughs> and out. <laughs> and you keep that fucking monster away from me. Hey, be, <laughs> hey, be nice to her. That's Mike. That's Luna. Luna lives here along with her older brother, Fang. Fang. Fang, yes. He's my Rottweiler. I'm not writing stats for Fang yet. No. <laughs> yeah. He's a terrorist. I don't know. He I has no fight Fang. <laughs> he has no way to come down to the clinic. He, he's all strength. He, does, he doesn't stay in the clinic. I'm going to say by now, Fang stopped barking. I hope so. I, or you know what? The, the yowl and again. That, the yell that Luna just made made him start barking again. <laughs> Gypsy can bark for like hours on end. Yeah, I'm sure. But Fang stays upstairs. I hate her for it. I was like, Fang I stays her. upstairs. <laughs> he doesn't come down to the clinic. No, he's, he's not supposed to be down there. Are you good yet? Need time to rest. I'm not gonna be good for a while. Right, can I like stay here tonight or something? As long as you don't try to kill any of my pets, sure. As long as they don't come down here, looking yeah. menacing. You know, <laughs> hey, then Luna, we're good. Luna came down here to be nice. She loves people and possibly eat because her food bowl is also down here. Why would you keep her food bowl down here? Well, she has food bowls upstairs and down here. Her so food. why don't you just eat the food upstairs? Probably finished it. Who and knows? this is a room that you treat patients in. No, not in the... No, she comes in here when she's not supposed to. But she I, she always finds a way to sneak in here somehow. You had the door. Right there. I, I was going to ask, is there like a, a lock you can put on it? Because like you can... There is like a thing where you could like slide You can lock, yeah, I can lock. doors, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I left it open because, you know... No one's in the clinic anymore because I closed it up, so now she's free to roam around. Like, if I'm closing the shop and she's has free range to come around. I hope you clean up before you All open right. up. You, you get course. some rest, man. Of you, course. You're still not looking great. Your mm-hmm. eyes are still a little glossy. Yeah. It would be funny if I woke up and I just realized you were just a hallucination caused by the concussion. I'm pretty sure he's not. Yeah, I'm, wish. I'm pretty sure you're not. If he Maybe. looks over to Jinx... He's like, please don't tell me about my condition. Please, I don't want that. The psoriasis? Yes. No. What? No. My, uh, you both witnessed, well, yes, both of you witnessed me transform. I tell anybody about you, you tell people about me. Good point. I was trying to avoid blackmail, but all right, we'll go with that. I mean, I could tell people about you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. After they freak yeah, out yeah. about you being a talking doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't freak out that he's a talking doll. Do you not see the weird shit that happens? I have an antenna on my fucking head. It's not the first weird thing I've ever seen. Sorry, he's not the first weird thing I've ever seen. It's literally my job to go search for weird stuff. Oh, well, this is all new to me, so. What are you talking about? You turned to wolf. How is it new? I didn't know there were other people who are, or, pe- person. He's a person. Person, I'm going to say. He's sentient, person. therefore he is, he's a being, and therefore he's a person. He is a being. I don't know if I'm a person. I'm a thing. You can be a person if you want to be a person. You define who and what you are. Yeah, I didn't want to call you a thing. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't want to call you a thing, because really you're. I'm a fucking dragon. If you want to be a dragon, you can be a dragon. I, I mean, hopefully. I'm gonna be dragging these nuts on your head if that <laughs> thing comes down again. <laughs> well, all right. Look, if you're gonna be here, Benny's face right now. This like, <laughs> why? No. Oh, First, you look, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> Mr. Bink. Cat. Luna. No, Mister. Accent on the Bink. Sorry, that's an inside joke. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Goosebumps. Great show, by the way. I have not seen that show since I was a kid. Yeah, but it was a great, great show. I loved it. I won't deny that. But um, Luna, my cat, and Fang live here. You two are guests. 
hurt my animals, you're going out. Okay. Simple as that. I don't mind. Or you can stay with Jinx. That's a fair trade for me. I mean, let's just see what the night holds. There's an extra cut. If you want to stay, Jinx, there's an extra. There's an extra few extra cots to lay down on. Or you can take this key, go upstairs, and you can sleep on my couch. Don't worry about Fang. He won't bite. Just. I'll just stay down here. All right. Never mind. Just give him the Hellcat. So I'm Demon not, dogs. Uh, I don't really do the whole sleep thing. So, uh, do you mind if I like poke around a little bit while you rest up? No. No, you don't mind. Perfect. No, I'm saying no. I do. No, fuck. Damn it! It's that concussion, man. I do. It's mind. really getting you. I do mind. Do not go around. And there's a lot of personal files down here of all my patients and. The, Besides, the back room is locked up. I mean, I get bored real easy, man. What am I supposed to do with my time? I was going to spend the night in, in the hardware store building little things. You can read the magazines in the weight room. They're up to date, don't worry. Or you got highlights? Hmm? You got highlights? I like highlights. They got little games inside them. No, I can't fucking read. You can't read? No. I'll have to teach you. Uh, that's a lot of work. Everyone needs to know to read. Why? Because entertainment? No, I'm good. What do you do for entertainment if you don't read? That seems complex. I'm good. What do you do? Just sit around? I watch a lot of TV. There's a TV in the waiting room if you want to watch. Perfect. <laughs> Remotes, uh, the remote control is behind the receptionist's desk. She keeps it under on the first drawer. Just pop it open, turn it on. You can watch whatever you want. All right. You got all the channels and everything. All the channels? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I spare no expense. All right. Well, I can tell that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wander off. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'd like to, from when he pointed out the door that Luna came in, uh, I would like to stealth over and put the lock on it so that the next time the cat tries to come through, it hits its head. <laughs> That's just you, so mean. You assume that Luna has gone through that door. But you lock Ooh. it anyway. <laughs> I do. I do lock it anyway. That's a good point. I do lock it. You don't know. Luna might have other ways to come down here. You'll uh, definitely send me a picture of Luna some other time. Yeah, I'll show you what you'll like later. I gotta, I gotta go on the actual conca and... Um, and all the yeah. information on there. So nice. I got a cat. <clears throat> um, spending pay points to uh, declare story details. Yes, I have animals, and my animals watch over my house technically. Well, one of them does. The other one is just a companion. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, cats can fuck someone up if they need to. Yep. They it are. Their nature is like perfect hunters. They're more dangerous than dogs. Actually, I believe nature's perfect hunter is the octopus. Oh, fuck, it might be. <laughs> I think it is. That's just my opinion, though. It's up for debate. <laughs> no, no. I'll go with that, too. Yeah, they can use tools. Yeah, no, octopus, I think. They're fucking legendary. <laughs> anyway. They're What's... Bing's favorite animal. I watch a lot of Discovery Channel. <laughs> What do you think I do all day when no one's home in these houses? <laughs> I mean, man, when I was a kid, uh, I would, I would uh, regale so many animal facts, and people were like, the "How do you know do? all this?" And I go, "Animal Planet." Yeah, I, did. I watched a I lot do the same of thing. Animal Planet when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I did too. All right, so. And I never really got into children's cartoons. Uh, so how is the night spent? Well, he's not to, sleeping. I know, you're trying to keep yourself awake. Um, how do you do that? <clears throat> I'm on my phone. Just trying That's to... not a good thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah, you're right. That's bad. He's just, um... Hmm. What can I ever do that's not going to be, like... Music? Ugh. Well, no, that might put you to sleep, depending on the music you're listening to. Oh, I also love listening to rock music. So he'll be like. Yeah, but if you're used to a, a type of music, you could still fall asleep to it. That's the thing about music. It's something you like, it calms you down. 
Just put on the cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie yeah. all night long. Zombie. Um, <laughs> you put on Dream, but that might actually put you to sleep. <laughs> he's, like, he's just doing whatever he can to stay away. What? Just play music. He's probably, um, I don't know, he's probably twiddling a pen in his finger, keeping his mind occupied. Trying not to fall asleep. He can't do anything else, otherwise it's gonna really Like every time he almost falls asleep he's like <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or if you have a concussion or not. I mean you're not hitting your head, you're hitting your cheek, so he's like, Oh, what I could do for an adrenaline shot. You oh, have them. I got them. But that probably the... also isn't good for your head. No, it's not. It won't be. <sighs> but he knows he's got all the medication in the back room that's locked up. The only way to get in is with a key card. Which apparently, I believe <laughs> that, that he still has, he believes that he you still has. You have it through your pocket, so yeah. You don't yeah he doesn't know if he still has it on him, but he <laughs> is in no condition to move around, so he can't go to the back room to get meds. I was gonna... You don't want meds for a concussion, I don't think. I don't know. Well, he I thinks never it's have... a concussion. Yeah. So that's the thing, too. Like, are you getting in, like, your comfy clothes, or are you, like, you're wearing a track suit? In order to get into his comfy clothes, he'd have to go upstairs. I have to climb upstairs. Oh, you, you're not going upstairs? I was going to offer if Jinx can go up there, helping me out here, seeing that you're stuck here with me. You might as well help me out. And I'm already asleep. Is that something that you can't do when you... I'm not going upstairs with that rabbit animal. First of all, my cat is not rabbit, and my dog is fine. Your dog is barking like a madman. Just say the... Or dog. <laughs> just say the command word, and he won't attack you. I don't know the command word. I'll tell you the command word. <laughs> Are you like that strictly disciplinarian that you have a command word to make your animal stand down? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the I don't know. He's very protective, and I gotta make sure to let him know not to hurt anybody who comes to my home. I guess so, but like, man. What's Arthur's command word? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're funny. But thank God jokes. Thank God of course jokes. I do. Just for the hell of it, I guess I will, I will make stats for the doggy. My doggo, Fang. Is that a Harry Potter thing? No, okay. actually. I he... forgot that there was a dog named Fang in Harry Potter. There's probably a lot of dogs named Fang in, in yeah. uh, popular culture. Bruce Wayne's dog's name is Fang. No, it's your... Ace. I was gonna mind. say. Well, he has like three. Oh. oh, he does? I thought he had only only one. Yeah, I remember well, Batman, Batman Beyond, Beyond. He, had, he had the two. I thought he only had one. His name was Ace. I remember that dog. Yeah, he's probably dead. I probably. thought Ace was Superman's. That's Crypto. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, threats have a high concept and a trouble. And then the cat. Who has the cat? Cat? We're talking about DC still? Yeah. Wasn't that Catwoman? No. Cause one of the heroes has a, a, like a cat with powers. That concept is um, um, dog that lives in Arthur's house. The only cat that I know of in the DC universe is not owned is a cat. This cat is a member of the Red Lantern Corps, and he's not a pet. Oh boy, what's his name? I can't remember his Daxter. name. Daxter. Right That's it. Yeah. Oh, what a what a fucking what a fucking story Daxter has. I don't think I don't think this he's anybody's isn't, pet. This isn't a like, panel for DC no. uh, characters. Yeah, it's not. But um, all right, dog that lives in Arthur's house. I also had him when he was a puppy. Um, they have a high concept and a trouble. What's the doggy trouble? Hmm. Overprotective. That yeah, yeah overprotectiveness. Maybe. Like overzealous. Maybe. I'm not hearing anything else. You got something better? Overzealous protector. There I'm thinking, yeah, overprotective works because protect my dad, protect my father. This is my. This I'm going to write overzealous overprotector. <laughs> <laughs> Both overs. Yep. Like, protect my family. Overzealous overprotector. I almost put uh, protect with like two C's. <laughs> protect the babies. Um, oh, no. Threats have a high concept in trouble. The threat's particularly important. Give her a third aspect. Um, Him. 
Oh, well, yeah, it, it says her in the... Description. Yeah, oh. it, uh, the thing I'm reading off is... Uh, she's her. Mm. I, think I, I think I did the same thing with the, um, with the cat, too. Which is? Uh, essentially, it, it asked for another aspect, and um, I left it blank, just in case that comes in later. Uh, skills, set the, the, the threat's apex skill to one step above the PC's highest rated skill, so it's a plus five. That would definitely be uh, physique, physique, physique strength yeah. based. Very strong it's, As a Roddy, they're very strong, muscular yeah. build dogs. And with the diet I get, and with the food diet I give him, yeah, he's he's definitely up there. I give him a good diet. Even without a good diet, like Gypsy is like she's got fat on her, but she's strong as all hell. I don't like there's muscle saying. under her fat. If you want a particularly tough threat, two steps above. Should we give it a plus six instead? Nah, I don't think so. Mm. It's it's not it's not like it's not like a like a minion protecting like a. Uh, like an evil castle or something. It's, it's a it's a dog. It's a big doggy. <laughs> yep. uh, so it's going to be a plus five. Uh, then give two more skills. One step below the apex skill, so that's two plus fours. Yeah. Um, and the same thing. is a two plus threes if I want them. Or three plus threes if I want them. Uh... Physical threat uh, priority uh, prioritizes physique, uh, then fight or shoot. Uh, da, 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 da. What does happen if you fall asleep with the whole concussion thing? I don't you even could know. die. You could fall into a coma. Which means you're dead. <laughs> Basically, well, you could wake up, but it, when you have a concussion and you fall in a coma, the chances are very slim that you'll wake up. Jam. Yeah, you need to be up for like I think. 24, 24 to 48 hours. hours, depending on how bad the concussion is. So I think they said 24 to 48 hours. So now I need two plus four skills. Like, no, this is probably going to be another high one. Probably. <clears throat> Very much so. And maybe will. I like provoke. Because it's a big, scary doggy. That's well, true. Turns out that that myth was busted, and you can definitely go to sleep. You can? Yeah. You can't. Oh, you well, can't. when does this take? What, like, when was that discovered? Recently? It doesn't matter. That's like the. That's what everybody thinks they know about this. So, I'm, huh. gonna, I'm gonna say that's like. Well, as a doctor, he would know if this is like this year. You know that this is taking place. Um. Oh, then. I'm gonna say better safe than sorry. And yeah. like, if it if it's a myth, whatever. But still, just be safe. It's not yet. Uh, provoke and uh, notice. And I'll save those plus threes in case something. You know what fight's going to be plus three, even though I did that for the cat, too. I think Will would be another good one for him to have. It might, yeah. Uh, so I'll put that at plus three also. And then maybe investigate with a sniffer? I, I did that for notice. With notice? Okay. You have your moth back, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I don't, it, I it's just a thing. Loud. Yeah. It has seen... <laughs> it was a void. Literally nothing. Nothing. There was nothing. It was a <laughs> void. And then Maybe I saw empathy. light. Because hmm? dogs are very empathetic as well. Maybe. I found Like, even, thing. like, the more vicious ones, if you're, like, an owner or a child, they'll typically, like, do it what they can to come for you. I'll put that, actually, for both animals. I would also give the cat fucking weirdness, because they have, like, a <laughs> They can sense that, that shit. That is true. Well, so can dogs. Well, that's the thing, too. So, like, weirdness is not really meant to be, like, a sensor. Uh, okay. She's got a special stunt yeah. for that. Well, the cat is definitely from the weirdness. In this world, it's... In this world, our world, it's a mutated cat. In Wellspring, it's a fucking weirdness mutation. I will... <laughs> I will ask the owner... Is, is this cat secretly, like, in tuned with the weirdness? Or is it a normal fucking cat? I won't tell. Well, well we need to know. We're making the stats, I know, so I know. am I giving this thing a plus three weirdness skill? Because I think well, it'd be pretty going, fucking neat if this cat I was gonna you say, created. Like, I'm thinking, like, could I just turn this into the Coraline cat? 
Maybe we can. Like I'm gonna make. I'm doing that. Let's do it. It's a Coraline cat. We're this okay. Day. Another plus three is weirdness. Yep. The cat that I don't think is actually a cat. We don't know. It's involved with the Beldum. I don't think it's a cat. Just like the Beldum's not really like a human I think it, like, or it a spider. It appears like a cat, but whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess it I goes still, over into the other world. Yeah. I still yeah. want to read the book. They said it's... Well, Wybie's not in the book. Yeah, he I was just he was created specific. for the movie. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, you are you're keeping yourself awake. Uh, whether or not it's a myth, you don't want to take any chances. Um, you are you are clean. You are efficient. You are disciplinarian, apparently. Uh, you are you are definitely not taking any chances that you're falling into a coma. Uh, what is the what are the other two doing? He's watching TV. I'm sleeping. I'm, I'm absolutely I'm totally just like in heaven with all these channels. <laughs> and currently I'm re watching Foundation on Apple T V. Uh, because it's such a great show. The, like Sarah said, what year is this taking place in? 2020. Yeah, probably like around like current year. Current year, okay. So Apple TV is a thing. Oh, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not that. We're not that old. But I mean, that's the thing. Like, the bank has seen like electricity start to be implemented in people's houses. <laughs> yeah. Whereas um, back when like people first started getting like electric appliances and stuff, they all had wires <laughs> running from them. So like, if you put up like a chandelier, there was a wire along your roof. If you had any kind of electrical appliances in your kitchen, wires. And if you ran too many things at once, fire. You no, you took out your electricity and the electricity of all your neighbors. You had to go uh, fix the fuse box. <laughs> uh, I hate my neighbors if they did that. Yes, um, very much caused a lot of fights. I'm sure. I'm sure. And they would always blame each other, yeah, but even that, if it was but actually that's the their thing, fault. Like, what Bink is, because uh, Bink started like the like 1880s, right? 1700s, wasn't no. it? Uh, 1700s? Hold on. Bink animated 1880. 1880. Yeah, arrived in Wellspring, 1940. Given to Norman, 1969. Bink is older than the airplane. Bink is older than the tank. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure... He's um, the oldest living being, unless there are vampires in this world. I'm pretty sure that uh, trains got him beat. I'm not sure when, like, the first train started going. But well, it was the 1700s, but I think it was, like, mid-1700s. No, definitely not 1700s. I mean, 1800s, yeah. mid-1800s. 1800s somewhere. Yeah. But we will... I predate the payphone, I know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He predates like most modern technology. That was late 1800s, right? I was I was around in the time that they were invented. In. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> That's a lie. That happened in the Netherlands, right? Or no? It happened. I have no idea. Connecticut. The first yeah. one was in Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jinx. Is Jinx going upstairs? No. Is there a command word that? She's not is going given upstairs. The there is a word to make sure he doesn't attack anybody. Okay. But I'm not going upstairs. All right. What's uh, Jinx doing again? She's out calling on the cops. On one of the cops. Okay. Um, do you call or text anybody? I'll text my grandma. Okay. Uh, she's probably asleep, but. Yeah, just let her know. Hanging out with a friend, staying over because it's so late. Okay. Um, and that is it. Then the uh, the next day rolls along. Um, I keep doing that click with my tongue. Yes, you do. <laughs> but uh yes yeah, so what is the um you managed to stay up throughout the night um jinx gets some shut eye uh bink is uh sure Surfing just kind of just kind of the kid in front of the, the television all night. like right on top of it too because he doesn't have to worry about going blind i am like almost through the first season again <laughs> i'm on the edge of this seat <laughs> so good <laughs> So, author, I guess, starts moving around a little bit, like, okay, starting to feel a bit better. A bit. Yeah. Uh, so, what we'll actually do, uh, because enough time has passed, like, I'll say, like, you got past, like, the worst of it, put um, in your severe consequence slot, uh, recovering uh, recovering from a head wound. Do I lose the evoke on head trauma? Mm. Yes. It would have been really fucked up if I used it. Yeah, I know. It would have. 
you you want to use that more on enemies than he's not an enemy anymore. Friends. He yeah. was when it happened. He's not anymore. So yes. <laughs> and then it will take like a it'll take like a whole like uh, like scenario of that. Uh, so basically, when you guys kind of figure out the mystery, that's when that that's when that actually heals. Mm. I got two new <coughs> sons, you know, mixing up what a what a. Um, Honestly, I think the next day I want to do for the next session, uh, and we have half an hour left. So what we're going to do, I think this is a good time to call up one of our milestones. Level up, everybody. Yay! Wait, what? Is How that is happening? It? How's okay, it work? Which milestone are we doing? Uh, we are doing a minor milestone. This is the point where, like, you guys are all kind of gathered for a similar purpose, you know about each other, you guys are, you have a mystery that you need to solve, but you're not quite there yet. Sir Alex, if you're sick, I'm gonna beat you up if I get sick. <laughs> no, it's allergies. Better be allergies. It is, it's, uh, it's allergy season, I'm acting up, I've been sneezing all day. A uh, minor milestone occurs when a small part of the story has been resolved. This is an opportunity for small changes to be made to a character to reflect uh, recent experiences. I'll read out this list. Um, Especially because for Why? this. <laughs> Why not? Uh, a player may choose to do only one of these four options. Switch the rank, uh, the rank values of any two skills, or replace one average plus one skill with one skill that is not on their sheet. Uh, change any single stunt for another stunt. You can purchase a new stunt, provided that you have the refresh to do so. Uh, you must always have a minimum of one refresh. Uh, rename one character aspect that is not the high concept. So if, if anything's changed with one of your aspects, you can change one of those. And we don't have to worry about moderate consequences because nobody has one of those. You have a, you have a severe still. Can I put an unranked um, skill into average? It, you didn't say that, but... No, I think that's the, that's the next milestone up. Um, so what can we do? Yeah, again? so uh, so what you can do is switch the rank values of any two skills, or replace one average plus one skill with one that is not on your sheet. Basically, you you switch the plus one and a zero around. Oh, I could do that. So I could switch investigate for deceive, uh, or deceive for investigate rather. Yeah. So my deceive is plus one. I can my oh, switch yeah. switch the rank values of any two. The second part is it just confuses the whole thing. Basically, just you can switch the rank values of any two skills. Okay. And what, like, the stunt, I could either swap one out or get a new one? Uh, you can either, one, change any single stunt for another stunt, or purchase a new stunt, provide, uh, provided you have the refresh to do so. Okay. And what were the other two? The one was, uh, like... And then the, the last one is rename one character aspect that is not your high concept. And the fourth one? There well, that, that was the fourth one. Uh, so it was it unranked was, to average was, uh, swap. Switch, uh, change a stunt, make a new stunt. Oh, or, okay. So the stunt has two. Okay. Yes. Um, or rename one aspect. And the, the last thing is, uh, this is on top of the, the choice. Player may also rename a moderate consequence they have to start them on the road to recovery, presuming they have not already done so. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Should we do it now? Can I do it now? I think so. What is All right, first things first. Who printed these out? The blank ones. Yeah. All right. Can you bring me a fresh one next week? Yes. Okay. Um, I would like to, you can have one of my refreshes, so I'll be down to two. Okay. And I would like to make a new stunt. Sure. And I'm going to go with one that we had from previously when we first started the characters, and I want to do the oh. attention to detail stunt. Right. So, uh, tell me what you want to accomplish with this. Uh, it's not on here and it's not on here. Was it one that was on the SRD? You need to look that up. No. Um, so, it was basically like, uh, because I've been around for so long, and I'm always observing things like that's part of the backstory is like I go around town kind of like observing what people do and where things are and like how things work 
Um, I'd like it to be like, I can look very closely at something and have the ability to kind of like understand it or see things other people wouldn't see about it. Kind of like looking at it from like another angle. Yeah, because I, I've seen the development of all these things over the years and like the progress of different things over the years. Oh yeah, that's the one. That is not, that's definitely not what uh, anything we've done before. Yeah, so it's not it's not the one from the from the website. Um, no, because I changed all that. Attention, yeah. I have attention. No, no, the one the one here says you can use like investigate instead of empathy to defend against deceive. Like it's it's not. Can I see ever, your sheet? That's oh, weird. Right. I just want to look at this stuff. My actual stunts are on the back. Yeah. No, no, I'm just are. like the way the sheet's set up. I just need to. Okay. So, um, is that? something you would approve or it's one that you were planning on getting eventually it was going to be my first it was part of my original three what was it that um just uh just read through it one more time i don't have it written down well i mean like the idea uh, one more time. i want i want it to be because i've been alive for so long and i've seen things progress in how they're made and how they work yeah and I'm like a keen observer of things. I want it to be like, I can see things that other people can't in certain things. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what, essentially like what mechanic we, uh, we do, we implement here. It would probably be investigate. Yeah, like based, based off investigate. Like, yeah. is it like a flat bonus? Is it using investigate somewhere else? Is it, um, would that be up to you, or is that both of us talking it out? Yeah, it would be both of us talking it out. All right. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know if it would be... It, it definitely wouldn't be something that does create an advantage. It would be more for understanding a thing, right? So maybe it's just a bonus? It could be. So, like... The real basic stunt is, like, I get plus two on, say, fight if I'm fighting, like, like mutants or something. Like, it's, like, it, it has a condition, it's a passive effect, and just if I'm doing this, I get plus two to it. We could do that. It's not, like, the most exciting thing to get for a stun, but we can absolutely do that. Um... But, like, stunts can also do things like I use investigate instead of this for something, or, uh, like, I can spend a fate point and use investigate to, uh, get... Hmm. So I'm trying to figure out, like, mechanically what, what we want to accomplish with this stunt. As well as, like... So how about something like this, then? Um... Because I don't really have any specifically... A lot of my stuff is designed for out of combat. Because that's kind of like, I'm not a combat person. Right. Even though I have high shoot and I'm like very tanky. Yes. My things are designed for like the shenanigans I do and can do out of combat. How about if we do something that... Uh, it, it's kind of like attention to detail. Because like, again, observe and investigate and like know how things work. What if we had something that had to do with being like kind of a, an analyst of situations where I could get a bonus in combat by analyzing what's going on? I think I came up with an idea while you were talking. Um, what if in combat, because if you're supporting like your friends in combat, um, if somebody creates an advantage, you can use investigate somehow to add, say, like, an extra boost onto it that's something else. Like, they, um, I'm trying to think of like a good, like, uh, like example for it, but I made, I made this advantage in the battlefield, and then you kind of add to it by putting, like, another small aspect attached to it that can also just be, like, one and done. I'll say maybe 
when someone successfully creates an aspect, you can also roll investigate at the same time. And if you're successful, it adds uh, a boost with a free invoke on it as well. Relating to relating to that aspect. How does that sound? It sounds like I'm going to depend on these two to be doing their job. <laughs> um, Is that not a good? Uh, can stuff can then? we can we do that tentatively? And maybe I'll try to think of something. So here's the thing too: if you think of something better, get uh, get um, a message to me, or we'll yeah. probably just see each other and talk about it between the sessions. That's fine. And also, like this is a minor milestone that you can also change your stunts out. So you yeah. can actually change it for a stunt you think is better. I don't want to keep buying shit. I want more things. But All right. uh, like I said, I just want it to be kind of like a tentative thing because I think having a stunt that solely relies on someone else doing a thing first feels like a waste. Okay. Kind of, yeah. It, it, it more depends on if you're taking like a supportive role in, uh, in a conflict. I will Essentially, probably not it, end up being that yeah. though because of how tanky I am. Right. And that's the thing too, like this works kind of like a reaction does in D&D. You don't waste your action doing this. It's done on somebody else's turn if you if you want to add like more insult to their injury, you know? Yeah, but specifically relies on someone else yeah, creating so, an aspect. So that that's the, pro, like, that's the yeah. part that like, am I ever going to get to use this? Okay. You know what I mean? It, that would worry me. All right. Um, we will discuss more than between the... Sure. Okay. Uh, so for me, we never um, finished creating my um, extra hijinks. Yeah. So uh, the but permissions... We are, we are also not doing anything with extras for this milestone. But if you have a It was already on, created. Yeah. We just never actually finished. I know. I, I wasn't sure if you were asking specifically about the extra or not. No, I want to know what the hell it does because we never actually did oh, that. Oh, that's something we got to do between sessions. Okay. That, like, the extra that's missing, we got to we gotta talk about that between the sessions. I can't do that now. Okay. Um, also, how many physical and mental stress do I have? Because I also don't have uh, that. So what is your physique? My physique is unranked. Uh, so you should just have two physical and your will? Uh, I believe that's four, but let me just make sure. Uh, plus three. Uh, plus three, so I think you get two more boxes. So I have all boxes. So you should have all of your will boxes, if I remember correctly. Okay. I think if you have plus one or plus two, it's one more box. And My have... physique is two, and I have all the boxes. So. Okay. okay. Um, and then the second mild consequence box. Um, well, what, what do you always have that? that you or? need. I think you need plus five in the skill, or plus plus five or plus six, one of those. But and what's definitely in the respective skill. So if it's physical, oh, so then it's it different. becomes a physical. Oh, okay. And if it's will, then it becomes a mental. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it only works for those specific mild consequences for that yeah. specific. So set. like okay. there, there's an extra mild consequence slot that you guys can unlock. But it requires you getting to that level of either physique or will. Okay. Okay. So what are you doing for the uh, for the most of? Um. Well, I haven't really gotten into using any of my stunts yet, um, other than the two. So I don't know how good my third one will be. So I'm going to hold off on anything stunt related. Okay. So we I'm going. Can also, to... if you want to wait until we have everything written up, we can also do that between the sessions as well. Well, no, I want to, I, for me, I don't know why I did Deceive over Investigate, because I'm a very, like, I'm investigating a lot of things based off of my job. Talking yourself out of that situation? Or I guess so. Spreading, or maybe, yeah. like, spreading a rumor over the, like, over the internet or something? Yeah, Deceive's pretty good for you, I think. Mm. But if you want to change it out, you can. Now's your and I don't know what to else to do because I can't add another average skill. I don't really think the stunt really does anything for me. Yes, they might as well. If you think that deceive is not where it's supposed to be, you can, you can switch it with something else. And I'd rather one of them be higher. But I can't do that yet. What was the fourth one? The fourth one is rename one character aspect that is not your high concept. 
That doesn't make sense for me. None of that makes sense for yeah. me. It's still very early in the game. Exactly, when, which is why none of that makes sense for me. Okay. Like, the literal only thing I can do is swap out my skills. Or you can make a new one. Yeah, but I, can, I don't know. Nothing's happened, so I can't. Think that's of that's why it's a minor milestone because yeah. very little has happened yet in the in the story. Essentially, you guys realize something's up, and now you're making your plans to go figure out more about it. So, could I do a stunt geared towards like the investigation part of my? show of my channel so i have fan base i can like you know call on my fans Mm. um but can i have a stunt geared towards like the actual investigative part of what i do for my stream podcast whatever the hell it is that i'm doing What's the question you have about to help me stunt? investigate? Or you're I, making a new stunt? Making a new stunt. Making a new I don't stunt have like a stunt <laughs> for the investigative. That's why I asked if I can have. Oh, I thought you didn't have them on the on the sheet. I'm yeah. sorry. No, the only thing I don't have is the description for hijinks. All right. I don't know why we never finished. All right. That. So you wanna you wanna make a new stunt? I don't know. You can make oh. a stunt called like. I don't know, internet gumshoe that like gives you a bonus to like detective type shit when you're investigating for your show. And that that sounds good. I don't like know about the name, but yeah, I mean it's whatever you want. So like, it would give me a boost for investigate, or probably not notice because that's more like physically being there, right? Notice is like looking around and seeing what you. Yeah, what so you investigate find. would be like the detective like, skills. Yeah, like getting close to something. Or maybe lore. So information. maybe you can help me with lore or investigate. Lore is like, yeah, the amount of information you know. Okay. So, like, s- I'm trying to, like, think about the... So resources, lore, and investigate would probably be the three things that would help me, um, like, in, like actually, like, figure out a mystery. Um, so is there anything I could do, um, like, to help me boost those? Like, I have, like, a tablet or something on me at all times, or, like, like a mini laptop or whatever that I use as specifically for um, research purposes. Yeah. It's, um, so like, the other thing I'm trying to figure out, like, the actual, like, mechanical benefit for the game. Maybe I'll say this... We do something that, like, at, like, the start of a session, you can say, like, uh, like, I got this, like, information in. You could choose, like, one of these, like, three stunts, and you get plus one, or uh, one of these three skills, and you get, like, a plus one in that skill for the rest of the session. So, like, if you chose the wrong one, then you gotta wait for the next session for it to reset. Something like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let me let me know if that jives with okay. you. Um, so at the beginning of the session, declare one of these stunts: uh, lore, the investigate, stuff. and resources. Those are the three, like or any, any. No, not not any. I'm not going that far. Yeah. Um, let's name three that you. Like, like I said, investigate, lore, and uh, resources. I think would be the best ones for like the investigative side of things. Uh. Tell me why resources. Investigate and lore, sure, um, but I think resources. Because of the setting that we're in, weirdness would probably make sense too. Like boost my weirdness more. Yeah, by like an extra plus one. Could it be? Um, could be contacts. Yeah, contacts. Um, that's my fan base. It's done. Oh, it's for contacts? Mm-hmm. Okay. You roll contacts against plus two opposition on success, they'll help me as long as it won't harm them. Okay. Um, I don't want it all to be geared towards the same thing. Yeah. See, that's the thing I was going on with the... The, um... You said, like, you're, uh, you're getting a pad along with you. That's, like... Is that, like, for Googling things or stuff that you're asking fans for? 
No, I don't want this to be anything for fans. It might okay. not even be Google. It might have like be a research database. Like okay. all the research databases that I have access to are all on this computer. Oh, okay. Like whether it be like um so you have, like files articles from the past. Your... Yeah, articles from the past, uh, current news. Okay, so like some so It literally it's like a library. You of... have uh, you have information like from say like a computer or something like a hard drive mm -hmm. or something and you've got to download something from it. At the well, it, if session. it is a computer, I have access to the internet with it. So I could download straight from that. Well, yeah, I know, but like something that you've saved to like the computer hard drive that you're, uh, like, it got away from me a little bit. So like if it's a tablet, I always have access to anything because it's the internet, right? The internet's yeah. a thing. Therefore, I'll always have access to data. Something that we talked about for uh, Wellspring was, uh, Signal was signal is good in the middle of town, kind of meh on the outskirts and like non-existent in the wilderness. Um, yeah, but I would still have access to the internet as long as I'm not outside of town. Yeah, yeah, that's um. So, I don't think I'd be doing much research outside of town, considering I'd probably be running for my life. <laughs> we just went through the woods a little bit. No, we didn't. We didn't. We're in the middle no. of town. You're still in the middle of town. Oh, yeah. to get to his place, we'd have to. I thought he said he was running through the woods from his place to the hardware store. Maybe like a park or something. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, like he doesn't live outside of Wellspring. No, I know, but there's woods in Wellspring. Yeah. Like there, there's probably a park that he ran through. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, if you're walking around with the the tablet, and the tablet has internet. I'm now just kind of picturing, like, I know, like, you don't want to do any more of the, um, uh, like, the fan stuff for now, but, like, like, you know, like, you go on Reddit and, like, type in, like, a question, and then you gotta wait all day for people to answer your question. Yeah. Maybe it's something like that. And not specifically your fan base, just asking a question, and then maybe, like, you get, like, a good answer for it. And that will, that's you choosing, like, what question to ask, and then... The plus one is like you will get an answer later on in the session. I don't know. Cause like I got the mechanic down. I'm trying to like I'm trying to justify like what the like like what it looks like uh, like in in character in game. But the mechanic is uh, start of the session. Pick one of these three skills. Yeah, well, I'm you still stuck on the one. third skill. Like, there's no third skill. That's a thing. It, I, I kind of like the weirdness. So thing. you're okay with the weirdness? I'm okay with weirdness. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, what I was stuck on was, like, the uh, like the in-game. Like, what does it look like in-game? Well, if I have a tablet, yeah. like, I, it would be a, me researching. That's, the, that's what I'm thinking. And I guess, like... Doing like a subreddit would be a form of research, but it's not the only thing I'd be doing. Yeah, it's like reaching out to like to just to see who answers your question, not specifically one of your fans, but like. Yeah. But like, I don't want that subreddit to be the only way I get my information. Well, I I use that as like an example, but it, it's probably something like that on the internet. Like the internet's a pretty cool tool, where people can answer yeah. your questions. So, like, I can only use the internet then. I won't have, like, a database of articles. That, so what I'm going for is, like, when you're a detective, you need to research. You don't ask people questions. You yeah. research. You right. go through articles, so, news articles, yeah. like, newspapers, because stuff like I, that. Because I floated that the uh, before was, like, downloading something specifically to the tablet from a, uh, from a storage unit that you had, like, at your place. But then you, yeah, but you came back with, then I could just Google things on the internet. And no, it's not Google. So colleges have their own databases yeah. that only they have access to. Sure. So that's something I'm thinking of, like having access is to all those not, databases. Is that not available to you at any given time? No, if you're not part of a college, you don't have access to it. Okay. But like something like that, like having Does a database. Does it only work on like college grounds? No, it works anywhere. That's what I'm saying. What was that, Lex? 
No, I was just waving at the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're getting but very like, technical. But uh, there, like, there are... I don't know if I want to be on camera. Uh, uh. <laughs> Look at you, making love to the but camera. But like, you know? I'm sure there are more databases than just college databases. Uh, and totally. I guess I could do research, but there's got to be more than mind. just college databases that like, people can access. Yeah, like private eyes have their specific yeah. um, database that yeah. you need to log in for. Like, mm -hmm. there's plenty of jobs. So is that like compiling information for yourself at the, that like, I, yeah, I guess at the so. beginning of a session? I, I guess so. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I, because I don't know like either. at the I'm beginning of the it. session, I won't know what's going on. So we that are, doesn't make sense. We're in a, like, uh, you know, our moderately tech world where <laughs> Like, oh, I wanted to see what a fucking LaCoy looked like. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Super, super <laughs> quick. Yeah. But, like, um, I don't think, and yet I can see detectives using Google, but, like, that's not, like, right. 100%, like, factual. They need facts, you know? That's the thing. Like, then if they're just out, uh, out on the road and they, can, they always have a database that they can access from their mm -hmm. phone, it doesn't make anything special. It's just oh. who they... Yeah. So I guess I guess just keep that mechanic, and then we'll we'll figure out what like the actual in-game justification is. Okay. Um, Arthur. Very <laughs> fancy. Yeah, uh, do you know what you're doing for this uh, mouse, though? Um. Lex. Mm. Oh, right. Thank you. I don't have any. So. Ah. Oh, uh, by the way, set your refresh to two. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well. So I'd rather get my own stunt, move a mediocre skill to one. Not move, replace. No. Like ba moving up. Basically, so it puts more words than you really need to. You you change two stunts around. It says um, a skill that's not on your sheet, meaning a zero Unranked. skill. Yeah. Yeah, my mediocre goes to average. And oh, you're at. It, and the average goes down to zero. Yeah. It, it's just switching. Which is why I decided to get a stunt instead, because I, it doesn't make sense to do that. It like, nothing's really thing, happened to justify it. I would say the only thing I think of is a stunt. And do you know what I want to do? <laughs> definitely. Can a stunt be only related to, like, I'll give the, the scenario on the... On the roof with the shingles that are falling apart. Yeah. Can I do a stunt that is only active only in wolf form? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll allow that. But what is it that you want to do? Um. Can't call it Danger Sense because that's already a thing. It's, we can ma name someone called Danger Sense. Yeah, you can do a Danger Sense because uh, it's like not. Danger Sense. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the stun is different from the aspect. It, the stun does more. Oh wait, okay. is it something on your? Because he did says the danger sense. No. no so oh. danger sense is like what he called like um, yeah, him more. saving like the call of the wild using call of the wild to mm -hmm. like save himself yeah, yeah, as yeah. much as he could. Um, but it, this would be more detailed. It would be very specific towards probably like using your instincts uh, to help you like dodge or whatever. Yeah, there's a like there's a. Are you talking about the barbarian skill in D and D called Danger Sense? Is that what you had reservations on the name for? Yeah, because like, nah, that sounds too. Because it's gonna be like that, like you, like Alex said, instinctively that animalistic. Oh, sense I was, of I was just wondering why you didn't want to call it Danger Sense. Yeah, because I'm thinking like, if you don't want to call it Danger Sense, then call it Animal Instinct. That could work. I was like, gonna think because I was like, eh, it sounds too much of a callback to yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. I at, at the uh, the LARP I go to, there is a skill in the in that book called Danger Sense, mm. and uh, the cat people get it. So, <laughs> ah, well, yeah, so the Karen? Yep. Well, yeah, I wanted to do something like that to say, like, only in his wolf form, he has like a like a six sense of saying like, oh, be wary of danger, you know, like. A lot of animals have something like so that. So, like a danger sense. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Exactly what I'm <laughs> Just call it danger I mean, sense. Yeah, you can call it danger sense. It's fine. Yeah. You need us knowing that. <laughs> yeah, danger sense. So. Um, but uh, what should I call my database? But yeah, so um, the hive, the swarm. Normally, normally I try making stunts a little bit more, uh, a little Broad. bit more. Uh, simple than plus two in the skill. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it's like only during wolf form, though, which means like 
you can't use that As in a, polite company. Yeah, but I can't. That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't want to be able to use it all the time. But like, that's the thing too. You also already have a stunt that's a plus two, so I kind of don't want to give you a second one either. Otherwise, I'd be down for just giving you that flat plus two with the stipulation that you, you must be in wolf form. Uh -huh. um, maybe like we can we can create an aspect. Um, uh, another when, one. Well, well, I can have a lot of aspects, can I? Oh, we can keep fucking stacking aspects for days. That's how this game works. But it could be in a dangerous situation. Uh, you create like the aspect um, danger sense. Like you won't get like free aspects on it, but that becomes a thing that comes in that you can invoke. No, you know what? I'm gonna give you free invoke on that actually. So. So would that be considered a stunt, or is that an aspect? Well, that would be that would be a stunt, but it, the stunt makes an aspect. So what? Uh, so maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do both, right? So in the case that uh, something unexpected and dangerous happens uh, around Arthur. The, uh, the aspect danger sense is created and if Arthur spends a fate point he gains a uh, he gains a um, free invoke on it how's that sound okay oh wait because then you're just spending a fate point anyway to never mind mm. I realized how stupid that was because <laughs> otherwise you're spending a fate point anyway. <laughs> Shit. Mm. Mm. Honestly, fuck it. Caution to the wind. I'll just give you the free invoke on it. Okay. So, ding. So, the stunt's called uh, Danger Sense? Yeah, it's called Danger Sense. Gives. And then it's, uh, you know, when something dangerous and unexpected, you know, like if, if there's an enemy pointing a gun at you and he fires. This doesn't take effect. It's more like if I step on a trap or something. So anything... Sorry, the tail's shaking. I am writing. Mm -hmm. Unexpected... So, uh, so you are taking that. That is, the, that is the milestone. Or done. So what was the specific description of mine? At the beginning of the session, declare one of these stunts, investigate lore or uh, weirdness. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. <laughs> um, or weirdness. And you get a plus one on that skill for the rest of the session. So wait, it's I right. spend a fate point to get the. F no, we're not. We're not doing that anymore. Uh, so uh, just just creates the aspect, gives you a free invoke on it. But it's, it's, you must be surprised. Like, it must be like, um, it must be something unexpected and dangerous. Free All right. So, uh, that is where we're going to wrap this wow. up. Because, um, the next day is the, uh, is the funeral. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is the fair, uh, funeral and the burial? So um, I thought we had then, that already. Happened already. No, or that was wake. like the wake. Oh, the wake oh, of the oh, viewing, oh, oh, whatever oh, that is. Essentially, it's a it was a it's a two day affair, and this day they're gonna do the actual they're gonna do the actual burial. Um, okay. But yeah, the last half an hour wasn't as excited, but I think the uh, the rest of the session was pretty damn funny. Um, you guys had a lot of fun. Bing tried to kill my cat. <laughs> I did no such thing. I think it was a demon. I it is all. not a demon. It's a demon. Um, not. As far as we, as far as Arthur knows, it's not. <laughs> he doesn't know that it's attached to the weirdness. He but just knows it's just the normal. Oh, did, it, cat. Cat. did it like ping my weirdness sense? Um, that could be the reason why I was going to say you guys are tired and wanting to rest and 
you see a, you see a cat, and it's probably just a cat until you actively investigate said cat. So we'll you realize that maybe that's why it's like Chrono Kid, like oh friend. Did that's, I hear? That's something. That's no. That's another thing I really like about uh, Fate Four. The fact that it's open to the whole table means that the DM could say, or GM rather, could say, "Oh yeah, do you have any pets?" Player can be like, "Yes, I have a I have a creepy looking cat," and. Um, oh. I, I know. Give it some love. It's creepy cute. It's a so creep. It is adorable. <laughs> Stop. The the GM. Could You're be creepy like, looking. Um, GM could be like, uh, "Hey, do you have a pet?" Player can be like, "Yes, of course." And someone mm-hmm. be like, "Oh, wait, is there actually something like odd about this cat?" And then like, yeah, there's like now this cat um, again that required a fate point to be created. Can you unplug the other one too? Mm-hmm. Now is something that we can we can use. Much later. We didn't need to do that. He picked the oddest fucking cat. <laughs> I, what's the I, what's the name of the the one cat with like the really like weird like sideways ear? They look like Yoda. They make like the honking <laughs> meow. I have no. I, I, I think know, those I, things are weirder. I've had enough of this conversation. Yeah. So that's it for the uh, for the night. Uh, we will be around next week. Same weird time. Same weird channel. And. Get any weirder than this? Yeah, I can. I really can. We will see you guys on the next iteration of Weird Lost Prank. Mm-hmm. Good night. Bye. Bye.